Hey guys, what is up? Oh boy, we got some more ghosts and goblins to play today. You know how much I like this series. You know how I just can't stay away from it. But I don't know anything about this version except it's a port of the uh, NES version. Maybe they fixed some of the like issues and stuff with it. Okay, first off we have a password available and we have an options screen. Okay, we can turn the sound and the music on and off. Boy, that's a lot of options. <laughs> what is going on? Who's here? Kane, Fabled Games. Coffee, what's up, guys? Welcome in. Good to see you guys. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. It is nice to be back. Tiber, welcome in as well. How are you doing, dude? It is great to see you guys. Oh, coffee, we'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> I have no clue. Don't know anything what to expect with this game. But uh, let's get started with it and see what happens. Alright, sound is working. I think. Okay, there we go. Alright, so it's a port of the NES version. That's Okay, and it runs a lot better. I can already tell that. Good start. <laughs> I was testing things out. I wasn't ready to start fighting. Frog Zombie, thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Welcome in as well. Don't know what what we're up against here as far as difficulty. I know it controls a lot better. It's way smoother. This is way, 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 way smoother. Very off-brand t-shirt. Boy, is it ever, right? Boy, is it ever. This is the first time I've gotten a chance to wear this shirt, and I wanted to save it for Ghost of Goblins Day, so what better day than today? First off, you know what? We need the knife. Let's see if we can get the knife. You can't farm it here. I, I think we can farm it here. Let's see if that's actually possible. For Game Boy, this is running really well. This is running really, 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 really well. I want to get the knife here, guys. I'm looking to get the knife. You can farm it from zombies. At least you could in the other game. I don't know if you can here. It's not happening yet. No problems, Central. No problem. How are you and Rax doing today? Welcome on in. No problem. We needed to add a few more mods, so I did so. You just added me as a mod as well. I mean, and what better choice than you to be a mod? I mean, what better? <laughs> that got me thinking. We need we, my channel needed more mods, so let's just let's add people that I that uh, I, I've known for a while and I trust them. So perfect, right? <laughs> Perfection. All right, maybe we can't get the knife here. Yeah, the timer's gonna get me. I was hoping we could farm the knife here. All right, we'll move forward. This guy's gonna kill me, I'm sure. Look how slow he is, man. He's wow. That was easy. All right, I'm dead though. That's okay. It's all right. Welcome in Proto as well. How are you guys all doing today? It is good to see you as well, Proto. Welcome in. I'm back at the beginning, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to farm the knife here. Trying hard to farm the knife. It's not working, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's get you guys some shout outs going too while we, uh, there's a cooldown actually on that, unfortunately. I need to go into the settings. I don't really want to use Streamlabs anymore either because <laughs> of that issue going on with them like ripping off uh, OBS. But uh, let's get some shout outs going for you guys. Yeah, bots don't have a chance now, right, Central? <laughs> Freaking stupid bots. Yeah, I, I gotta switch over to Stream Elements or something. It takes me time. It takes time to do that, unfortunately. He has stinking bots. Who needs them? Who needs them? Another Twitch TV viewer. I mean, could that even be... <laughs> That's not even trying to hide that it's a bot, right? <laughs> <laughs> not even trying to hide it. Uh, Retro Gamer 5000, welcome in as well. Proto, what are you doing? I'm doing some lurking in and out. Parent teacher conferences looks a whole lot better than NES. All right, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate that very much. Hopefully, the parent teacher conferences go well. Big Dave, welcome in as well. Appreciate you dropping in, dude. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. 
Uh, yeah, Rax, I went and got my hair cut. It was getting too uncomfortable. It was way too long. It felt terrible to sleep in. It felt terrible, so, uh, it's as, um, much more comfortable. But I, I don't like my hair super short, so I just got it trimmed up a little bit. I think it, I, I think it's okay now. But yeah, definitely got a small haircut. See, if I missed any, no, I didn't get Proto yet. Hold up. <laughs> Gotta get everybody shouted out here. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. Yeah, exactly, Tiber. I'm kind of worried about this view here. I can't see much on the screen. I don't know if that's going to affect the balance of the game or not. I think maybe the graphics are too big. Because I'm not seeing very much. That's going to maybe cause a problem. Still haven't gotten the knife yet. I was really hoping to get the knife here. Oh, the bird's nice and slow. How about that? <laughs> not used to seeing that. Yeah, the frame rate is good. The graphics are smooth. The control is better. Well, that wasn't better, but... Oh, wow. I wonder if there's, like, infinite loops and stuff as well. Yeah, it's like Metroid 2, Tiber. Same type of, like, style. Oh, of course I would die to the bird. All right, so the difficulty is, like... It feels a little easier, but it's not going to be an easy game. I mean, it's Ghosts and Goblins. What more could we expect? Going up Mountain Dew, new flavor called Gingerbread. That sounds extremely awkward. Is it? And it's really good? Gingerbread Mountain Dew. Yeah, I think I've heard, I've heard everything. And I thought Cherry Coke was weird. And I thought that was weird back in the day. No problem, Proto. No problem. I hope your parent-teacher conferences go well. I know uh, I've got a friend that's a teacher, and it go it's real hit and miss on whether those go well or not. <laughs> There's a lot of variables, so, dude, I hope things go well for that. I really hope that goes well. All right, we're going to pummel this guy. That guy is so slow this time. All right, that's no threat. All right, we're going to make it to our first checkpoint which was right there all right here come the woody pigs i know they're they're trying to they're, they're... okay so that same issue of falling through the floor on those gaps exists all right well that kind of sucks flaming hot cheetos flavor i think i'll pass on that i'll pass ginger juice yeah there's a oh is that like ginger ale i don't know about ginger juice me either big dave it was brought up to me the other day and I was like, well, if there's another Ghost and Goblins game, we gotta try it. Man, the the ledge is deceiving right there. It looks like I'm playing like crap, I know. My, I gotta get warmed up. <laughs> I gotta get warmed up. But see that little spot of grass right there? You can't stand on that. You have to jump over it. That's really strange looking. All right, that's better. Yeah, I wanted to try it out, Big Dave. I, if it's a Ghost and Goblins game, we're going to be playing it at some point and doing a full playthrough. All right, here come the Woody Pigs. I knew they'd be here. All right, I'm ready for them, though. We know how to combat all this stuff. We've played Ghost and Goblins a time or two. Yeah, those are exactly... They're hard right angles, even though they don't look like it. The same issue is in the NES version. This guy fires a lot faster. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Well, he died a lot quicker than I thought he would. He, he dropped quickly. <laughs> All right, level two. Let's see how terrible the ogre house is in this version. God, he just got wrecked. He was firing his little shots and stuff faster, but he seemed to have less hit points. All right, so I know exactly where to go since this is a port of the NES version. All right, well, that guy got me. There's more of these guys. The game's running better. They're rendering more stuff on the screen. Oh, the, what? That counted as a death. Dude, that counted as a death. I don't really like anything ginger all that much, uh, retro gamer. I really don't. <laughs> It's just, just not me. Ginger Mountain Dew definitely wouldn't fit with me, but I'm, I'm glad Big Dave likes it. 
All right, see, I told you guys we'd get the checkpoint real quick, and we're already there. And Magneto, what's going on? It's lurking. Nice haircut. Hoping to have all the kinks ironed out on my stream tonight. Yeah, man, you're off to a good start. I mean, it was working great. Just got a couple of things to work on a little bit. Give you a shout out there as well. Good to see you, man. Hope everything's going right for you on this Thursday. Oh, that happened faster than I was expecting. There's a little bit of difference here. It's not identical. It's not identical. All right, here's where all the trouble happens. <laughs> On the NES loops we're going through, this is where everything comes apart. Okay, it looks like everything's nice and slow, though, because this is loop one, after all. That should not have even been a death, Coffee. That was, I got gypped on that one. Let's see if the armor's here. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you know? It's not. <laughs> it's not. That kind of sucks. Yeah, the graphics aren't bad. They're pretty good. And the game runs really well. We haven't seen any slowdown yet. And the bird isn't even showing up here in the house, dude. Look at this. This is this part's pretty easy. And look how slow these guys are. <laughs> you know what we're used to on the NES version with these guys? These guys move like literally like ten times faster. So this is a nice relief here. You can't even go this way in the NES version. They're too fast. They'll get you every time. Uh, yeah, the colors look good, too. They look better than the NES version. I mean, everything about this so far is an upgrade over the NES version. Except maybe the screen size. I'm, that's still making me a little bit nervous. I feel like stuff's going to pop me from off the screen. But maybe it's balanced to do that. Okay, there's supposed to be a red bird over there. <laughs> we have, like, all the enemy positions memorized from... <laughs> from having to put up with all this. Okay, yeah, that bird is there. All right, so th that that's still there. All right, that little guy's still there. Yeah, basically it'd be counted as a remake in a way. It, cause it's similar, but there's a couple... <gasps> oh, that was cheap. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. You could see that guy earlier in the NES version. He was still there. Oh, they, they made it so you still have to manually choose continue. That's awful. And that means I might accidentally hit start. Oh, Insomniosis, welcome in as well. Yeah, another Ghost and Goblins game, man. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. And what in the world? There's a checkpoint down here. Guys, there's a checkpoint here. What in the world is this? We were supposed to start at the beginning of the Ogre House, not out here. Okay, that's a significant difference. Whoa, that's not good. <laughs> All right, so stuff is kind of attacking me from off screen. I was kind of worried about that. I'll just have to put up with it. I mean, they gave me a checkpoint here. <laughs> How am I supposed to react to that, man? I even knew it was there. There is a checkpoint. Never had a Game Boy Color and thought it was just like the Super Game Boy, though it added four colors or so to the gray scale. Yeah, the Super Game Boy... Getting... Man, I'm getting wrecked from stuff off the screen. I'm gonna have to move a little bit slower. Yeah, I never had a Game Boy Color either. I had a friend that had one, so I got to mess around with one quite a bit, and it does a good job as far as, like, the basic color renderings. This is pretty darn good. And the graphics here are literally identical to the NES version. It just runs a lot better. Alright, I'm just, like, really paranoid about stuff jumping me from off the screen. Yeah, this is cool. They've done a good job with this. Obviously, somebody other than that micro electronics or whatever did this port, not the NES one. All right, we know about these guys coming up. All right, they're going to behave the same? Same, a little bit different? Uh-oh. Okay. All right, behavior was a little bit different. <laughs> I'm still trying to play it like the, it's the NES version. That's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, Insomniosis, I've never seen that as a problem as far as, like, copyrights for emotes, because there's a lot of people that, uh, use, like, standard video game character emotes and stuff, and I've never seen anyone get in trouble for it. Not once. There's a checkpoint at the boss. Guys, this is gonna be really easy. This version is way easier, right? just because of extra checkpoints. You die there on the NES version, you go back to before the Ogre House.
<laughs> yeah, the music too. That's a good point, Scrutinizer. The music is definitely an improvement as well. It, it, well, it, it, right now it seems like everything's better than the NES version. And I'm shocked about the, the amount of extra checkpoints we're getting here. I'm literally shocked. They've made this way easier. We're going to beat this today, guys. No problem. Both loops. I can already tell. This is much easier. We haven't seen the knife yet. Is that even in the game? It's got to be in the game. They put that penguin with glasses right there in the game. Where's the knife? I want the knife. Still no knife. Okay. Nothing there. All right, we're almost to the checkpoint. No knife. I don't want the penguin with glasses. Only the, that just gives points or something. Those guys are a joke in this version. Those guys are a joke. They do nothing. Look how slow they are. Yeah, you can't see much on the screen. That's the only problem. But thankfully, it's not hurting too bad. It kind of hurt a little bit on the last level, but nothing too bad so far. Oh, this sounds so much closer to the arcade version. You couldn't even make heads or tails of what the NES version was doing with the music here. Not anywhere close. I would try it in Somniosis and just see what happens. If, if, they, if people come at you with a copyright strike for that stuff and Nintendo or whoever does, then you can just turn it off. That's, that was my plan. But it seems like everybody's doing that, so I, I'm, I don't think they're too worried about it. It's almost like free advertising in a way. That's kind of the way I see it. If people want to use like Mario stuff like I have and things like that, I think Nintendo would be like, oh, it's just more people are going to see our character. That's kind of the way. <laughs> maybe they're thinking that way, maybe not. Boy, these guys are just pitiful now. Well, they definitely made this version easier. Maybe Loop 2 will be harder, I don't know. Well, I'd say it's easier, and I'm getting hit by stupid stuff here. Alright, so there's going to be another one of these guys. So much slower. I'm, I'm wondering if the Game Boy can even, like, render that character to move as fast as he really needs to, like in the other versions. I'm wondering if that's the problem here. Let's see if we can get the armor back. Alright, those guys pop out without even having to jump. There's a little bit of differences here. There's some slight differences. Yeah, basically, yeah, Insomniosis is a direct port, but they've made some changes here. There seems to be more checkpoints. Uh, the enemy behavior is a little different. The spawn patterns are a little bit different. Just noticing some very slight changes from the original version. And that was really close right there. That was a little bit close right there. But so far, it's a good port. They've done a good job with this. Alright, is he dead? No, he's not. Look how s I'm just... I can't get over the fact by how slow those guys are. Those guys are like the most threatening at normal enemy in Ghost and Goblin. Ugh. Oh, the woody pigs are worse than the red armors. <laughs> All right, well, that was a good shot. <laughs> Got them both with one shot. All right, the armor does spawn here. That's good. All right, so I'm going to take the same path as we take in the NES version and hope for the best here. All right, he got me anyway. All right, let's see if we can get the armor back. What's that? It's not armor. All right. Oh, miss a jump. That's not good. All right, so that worked out the same. Don't really don't want the torch. I might have to. Uh oh. Oh, they follow me in this one. Okay, that's a problem. So now we have to take a different path. Thank you for the host insomniosis. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it very much. And we're back at the beginning. No checkpoint on this one. <laughs> no checkpoint. Uh oh. All right, so this part's a little bit difficult. Not too terrible. I just still think it's harder on the NES version. All right, let's dodge that.
Oh, I, I, I agree completely, Rax. I agree completely. <laughs> oh, it's it's hard times for his, his family going on right now, man. Ugh. Oh, I thought I could make that jump. <laughs> it's true, Scrutinizer, man. Oh, boy, I'm going to be humming that all day now. <laughs> I'm terrible about hearing something and then humming it all day long. Like, when we brought up Guardian Legend the other day, uh, <laughs> I was, like, humming that for, like, a week straight. <laughs> I'm, like, the worst at doing that. If only for almost a month already, this year is going so fast. Dude, it, it time moves, like, stupidly fast these days. It, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary how fast time moves these days. When I was a kid, it felt like a week. It took like a, like six months in today's time. Now these we're already like halfway through November, and I, it just feels like October just started. I, I don't know, man. It, it's 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 scary. Whoa, we're having trouble here. We are having some trouble here. Okay, so there is difficulty. It's not so easy. Do gotta play Guardian Legend at some point. You can play it with just like a boss rush mode too. There's a code you can put in for the password. Just, I think you just put in TGL and it's just like a turns it into the uh, turns it into just the shooting stages. That would be kind of trying fun to beat. I don't know how well balanced that would be, but we can try it at some point. I like that game a lot. Yeah, it's easy to do, Retro Gamer. It's easy to do. You hear something that's a little bit catchy, or you hear it for a while, you'll be humming it for quite some time. At least I do. All right, we got to be ready to ambush these guys, because they're getting me, like, every single time. Yeah, could someone slow time down, man. It's, it's scary how fast time's passing. I, I hate it. I'm going to try and go the other way. Because I had to fight two of those guys last time. Let's see if they change where these guys are. This game wasn't released in Japan. And some of the item locations changed to accommodate the smaller screen. That makes sense. That makes sense, Coffee. Wasn't released in Japan. Okay. So, whoa. Okay. I don't like having to fight all these guys. But they're not that bad in this one. Maybe it's more balanced. Oh my God! Okay, didn't know that was gonna happen. We gotta learn. To, we gotta die to learn, guys. We're dying to learn. Die to learn. Oh, shmup mode's more challenging because you don't get to pick your upgrades. Oh God, that sounds frightening, Tiber. Because <laughs> that's not an easy game with all the upgrades. Great. Well, we'll try it at some point. How bad could it be? <laughs> Couldn't be that bad. I don't know. It's a shmup. It could be horrifying. We'll see, though, because I really like the Guardian Legend. We will definitely give that a shot at some point with that mode. Alright, those guys are still not... They're still easier, but they're not, like, a piece of cake. Alright, this is, uh... We're gonna, okay, it didn't get me that time. All right, we're going to go back if I get hit because I left the armor up there. I did too, coffee. I did too. <laughs> Same thing, man. Yeah, it, in, insomniosis, that's a great point. It, it, the, the slower you want things to go, the faster they're going to go. It's like, oh my god, all right. I'm going to go back and get the armor. Okay, they're making it difficult. Majin, what's up, man? What is up, Majin? Welcome in. Yeah, this is the first time we're trying out this version. It's different, but it's not super easy, but it's not super hard. It's kind of a little bit more balanced, I want to say. Because these guys are easier, but I'm having to fight more of them. So, they're trying to change things up a little bit here, but that's okay. I keep expecting to be ambushed by these woody pigs. And it's gonna happen. Oh my god, they shot twice at me that time. Ugh. Ugh. 
Okay, so here I was thinking, hey guys, this level will be a piece of cake because uh, these guys are slow. Okay, well, it's different in its own way though. Alright. Still haven't seen the knife. I'm kind of worried about the fight with the dragon because in the original version, the lance doesn't hurt him. So I might have to be forced to pick the torch up down there. I really don't want to have to do that. We'll see though. <laughs> we'll see. I'm kind of nervous about it. Alright, good dodge there. I actually just flat missed me. I'm not going to give myself credit for that one. There we go. Yeah, those things are as annoying as they always are in every game, it seems. I'm not minding le this level 3 too bad. I'm not. I think with a... Oh, I think with a decent run we'll, we'll get it, but it's, it's definitely not a piece of cake. After level 2, I was starting to think they've given two extra checkpoints here on level 2. This is going to be a lot easier. Alright, the armor should be there, yes. Alright, those guys aren't going to get me. We're going to go back and do this way again. When I jumped off the top last time, I had to fight multiples of the red armors. We're not going to do that again. Yeah, no E screaming in this one, thankfully. They're, they're quiet. They are very quiet. Alright, he's dead. Alright, there's going to be another one of those little guys that pops out. There he is. Alright. You can get armor here if you don't if you don't actually have it, but nothing's going to happen here, I suppose. Alright, can we kill him quickly? We can. Alright. I'm going to try and fight the dr- Forgot about that. Whoops. Oh well. We're a frog for a minute. Enjoy being a frog. Now, I'm sure that'll wear off. Yep, see. No problem. Hey, Cape Bro Man, welcome in, man. How's it going today, dude? Good to see you as always. Good to see you. That uh, randomizer you've been playing, the, the graphics look really glitchy in that. But, it, like, the items are in weird places, too. I've been checking that out while I've been at work. Alright, we're going to be able to hurt this dragon with the lance. I'm. Actually, I don't think you can. Uh oh. I think yeah, I think they kept that immunity in the game. That's not good. I'm gonna go back and get the torch. I didn't think they'd keep that. Oh well. Now we have to use the torch. Crap. Now oh god. Now I have to do this level with the torch. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? I want the knife white things that fly. They look like Moogles. They do. They look like little demented Moogles. <laughs> I never really thought much about Moogles and stuff in the in the Final Fantasy games and stuff until they like actually had some prominent stuff to do in like uh, which Final Fantasy was it? Final Fantasy 6? Yeah, that's when Mog was actually a character. Yeah, those, those do like little demented Moogles. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's a good description. Yeah, the, the you can do some crazy stuff with randomizers. I haven't messed with randomizers a whole lot, Cape Roman, but I am really looking forward to messing with them in the future. I know there's like Mega Man ones and Zelda ones and all kinds of stuff. I'd really like to see more. Alright, so now we have to fight these guys with the torch. Oh, that's not good. Alright. <laughs> They're not making life easy on me on this stage. They're really not. Alright, let's get the armor and I'm going to take the bottom way again. Because they've changed it to where these guys actually will chase you in this level. I forgot about the evil moogles again. Okay, so now we can do the rest of the level without getting hit, right? <laughs> Seems to be no other choice at this point. I don't really like the torch, but... I'm not happy about it. <laughs> But it is what it is. Insomniosis, thank you so much for the re for continuing the gift sub, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. My notification didn't work for it. Well, that's not good. All right, I'll have to work on uh, no uh, notifications and all that stuff. Sorry, guys, that that's a work in progress because I have a lot of different windows open and stuff for the different uh, systems, and apparently it didn't work for Game Boy. So, Insomniosis, thank you so much for. That gift sub continuation you got from Goober. I really appreciate it, man. Wow. 
stuck on level three. Ugh. Alright, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's Ghosts and Goblins. Yes, yeah, I have a lot of issues with Streamlabs as well. Maybe Stream Elements would be a better choice to go with, especially with that controversy with that Streamlabs was stealing like the OBS name and stuff like that. And then they got caught. And then we had to put up with uh, them like fake apologizing or whatever. Hey, Chalk, what's up, man? Chalk has resubscribed. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you. Dude, you guys don't know Chalk. Definitely check his channel out as well. Really good dude. Thank you so much, Chalk. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, we're doing more Ghosts and Goblins. You're trying out the Game Boy version. And uh, it's it's going well. It's a little bit different, but it's going well. He's got... Look, ah, they may be slower, but they're still a threat. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, it's zoomed in. That's my like my biggest complaint is how much it's zoomed in. Enemies can like ambush you and you're not ready for them. That's happened quite a bit. It's kind of hard to know where you are in relation to like where the actual level and stuff <laughs> is. That was close. Chris, welcome in as well, dude. Good to see you, Chris. It Chris a shout out as well. We have a lot of friends of the stream that also stream, so uh, it is it's really nice to see you guys. Everyone I recommend is a great streamer as well. I enjoy hanging out with you guys as much as I do streaming myself. All right, he's dead. He's nice and dead. And there's more of those more where those came from. You have to fight more of these guys on this version. Wonderful. Now I don't have the armor again. Can we get it back? Is it going to give me a... I guess we'll never find out on that run, will we? Oh, level three's hard. Level three's hard. Yeah, thank you so much again, Insomniosis. I don't know why the uh, notification didn't work for continuing the gift sub. i got to go back in and work on the settings again. That's a lot of fun. And I'd rather, like, do almost anything than that, but... <laughs> Trying to get stuff to work on stream when you're not very technically skilled is a problem. That is definitely me. I'm, I'm honestly just surprised I can turn my stream on. <laughs> that, that, that amazes me, much less getting all this other stuff to work all the time. Alright, if so this guy drops down, he's going to be in the fire. and That's what we wanted. Yeah, I would not worry about the copyright strikes on the like old video game emotes and stuff. I would just go with it, and if someone gets mad at you about it, then you can just switch it. That's that's how I thought I would handle it. Yeah, the, whoa, crap, man! I just can't get the. Okay, we can get the armor though. Yeah, he's a little bit slower in this version, Chalk, but this level makes you fight more of them so it, they're kind of balancing it out that way he definitely doesn't have the speed or aggression but his attack pattern is all still a little bit random and his the his attack he fires is kind of fast there's definitely something to fear with them but there's they're still a threat maybe not quite the threat they were but we'll see going forward like in like level six and stuff all right, like there, they delay their attack a little bit. All right, here comes a dragon. Uh, I had to get the torch here. I don't really want it, but <laughs> it is what it is at this point. Dragon is a little bit slower. That's probably gonna save us. And got him, he was slower. All right, another level down. Yeah, this was level three. Level three's done. You get passwords in this version too. This is that's also cool. If we uh, we don't finish it for whatever reason, I I think we'll be able to do both loops today, though, guys. I, I think we'll be able to get through it. Well, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that yet. This will depend on how difficult level six is. You guys know about level six and Ghost and Goblins. It, it's always psychotic. Yeah, a password. Really, a password. I was shocked to see that when I first turned the game on. 
Yeah, what well, is the ending gonna talk about strong as well and can congrat congratulation or whatever and all that stuff? Let's see if they fix that. Loop five in this. Maybe Chris. We'll see how many loops it goes through. Thanks for the GG's. Retro gamer, I'm kind of in between rural and urban area. I'm kind of like crossed in between. I'm not exactly rural, but I'm not exactly living in an urban place either. So, uh, but the infrastructure here in Alabama for internet is terrible. So th that's been my biggest problem more so than anything else. If they would expand the internet to more areas with better lines, better everything, then that wouldn't be a problem for me. But this state wastes so much money on the stupidest stuff that I could like write a, an encyclopedia's worth of complaints about that. But that's, that's another story completely. Yeah, Insomniosis, I only have one choice for an ISP here, and it's Charter, and it's up and down. Some days my internet's just fine, other days it's practically unusable. But <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Am I supposed to jump here? Okay, that was a blind jump, man. That was a leap of faith. I couldn't even see the ground. Oh, look, another torch. Where's the knife, man? Just give me the knife. Yeah, I'm guessing they fixed the spelling this time. We'll see. I, it, that'd be funny if, the, if they didn't and they left it with all the m misspelled typos and stuff. You guys want to see strong if welling in your body. I know you do. I know you do. I do, too. <laughs> Why does that turn you into a frog sometimes and other times it does nothing? I don't get it. Well, we can't fight this guy as a frog. Yeah, they did a new box art cover too and it looks good. They, they did a nice job with that. They definitely did a good job with that. That's, that's the, uh, I think the Ghosts and Goblins Ultimate on PlayStation Portable uses like that same type of art style, I believe. All right, here comes the dragon again. Did he not even attack me? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I was about to say I just hit him twice in the nose and he didn't even move. All right, that was a lucky dodge. I can't believe he didn't hit me there. And he's dead. He's a lot easier in this version. There's level four. Level four and uh, level four is a piece of cake. <laughs> I have not played Ultimate yet, Chalk. I have not played it yet. That has not happened yet, but it is going to. And I've been told some horror stories about it, like collecting a bunch of crap and stuff, that, like these orbs of light or whatever you need to pick up. I'm like really nervous about that. <laughs> had a hard time doing that in Resurrection when you had to find the shadow orbs. So that's going to be an ongoing process. That's going to probably take forever to do, but I'm willing to do it. Yeah, I've heard mixed reviews as well. There's like three difficulties to choose from as well, so I guess we'll be whatever the ultimate difficulty on. Since Got to at least do that, right? <laughs> Got to do that. Okay, do I, want the, I don't want that. I don't like that weapon. We're going to skip that guy. Let's see if you can skip that guy again. The armor's over there on the right. Of course, Capcom might protect the brand Strongeth Welling Green Tea Trap Device if I Satan Mousetraps and Congratulations Gift Cards. <laughs> they might. <laughs> we'll see. That's going to be fun to see when we get there. That's going to be fun to see. Yeah, I just have to put up with bad internet some days. It's been a that's been going on forever here, and I doubt it's ever going to change. Like today, it feels good. We haven't dropped a single frame. Zero frames dropped. But my last stream that lasted like three hours or so. Uh-oh. I don't think I wanted to go this way. All right, let's try and go back. There's armor you can get in the other version. Let's see if the armor's still there. I played Curse Castilla, the indie love letter to go uh, Ghosts and Goblins. No, but I'll write that down, Tiber, because that sounds like something I might like to try out. What is that called? Curse Castilla. Oh, let's make sure I don't knock stuff off the desk here. All right, I'll write that down and definitely look that up.
I would like to see that for sure. This version, yeah, the the music too. That's a good point too, Chuck. The music uh, has been better overall than it is in the NES version. It's definitely an improvement. We'll give it that. It's not awesome or anything, but it's better. All right, the armor didn't spawn there. That's really not good at all. So now we're gonna have to fight the Satan monster without armor. I was counting on getting armor back there. Oh, that was a big fall, like in Jump King. You guys seen that? <laughs> Don't see it. Don't see it. Hey, Spirit Buddy, what's going on? Yeah, we're trying out the Game Boy Color version. Can't get enough Ghosts and Goblins, right? <laughs> Can't get enough. Welcome in, Spirit Buddy. Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Good to see you. All right, let's dodge all this crap. I don't want the torch, guys. We got stuck with the torch, and there's it's not giving me an opportunity to get rid of it. Well, I could have gotten the, the axe, but that's like even worse, so. <laughs> so it's gonna be the torch for now. It's turned into a torch only run. I don't like that too much, but it is what it is. You know what, I'm curious, what's the reason behind your name, Little Mixer? Uh, it's just a name I just created out of the blue one day, because I went by another name on the internet for a long time. And I would, I kind of just decided, let's just change it up. And for some reason, I came up with that. I have no idea where it came from. It has no meaning behind it whatsoever. But <laughs> that's basically the story behind it. I know it's a weird story, but uh, that's how I came up with the name. It, it has no meaning to me whatsoever. It's just like, okay, let's just think of a new name. And that was it. <laughs> a name is a name, yep. Hey, Fozzie, what's going on as well, dude? Welcome in. It is nice to see all you guys. Well, we could get the lance back. Let's, let's get... Man, these guys are bullying me. It's level 5. It's, it's kind of trolly. It's fine, though. Good to see you, Fozzie. How's it going, man? Welcome in. It's a little bit trolly. We're going to be good, though. We're going to be good. We're already on level five, man. How long have we been streaming? About 45 minutes. We're, we're good. We're gonna get through both loops today. We don't get through both loops. I wonder if there even is two loops. I know I ducked under that bat, man. I know I did. Uh-oh. Oh my god, all right. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's trolly. You can't skip the map screen either. Why didn't they change that? I think we know where we are on what level. I think we know where we are at this point. We don't need to hear dun 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 after every death, but we will. Yeah, the music's not very good on this level. It's kind of a mishmash. It sounds kind of like scratchy and stuff. I don't know, it's like a broken record. Oh my god! See, the, the screen size is a problem. That thing was actually on the screen and attacking me, but because it zoomed in so much, I couldn't see it. That's kind of a threat. And they didn't put the armor up here, so that's another threat. I, I didn't touch that! God damn it! Now, now we've got a worse weapon. This thing's worse than the torch. Maybe it's better in this version? Not really. Still sucks, okay. <laughs> it's the axe is still terrible. It's awful. I think it's all Oh wonderful! Now we can get the torch back. Where look, everything is showing up except the knife. Where's the knife? I think it's not even in the game. This is bull crap, man. No problem, Fozzie. It's good to see you, man. It is good to see you. I was working like all day yesterday, so I had to lurk. I, I have to lurk a lot, unfortunately. But that's better than nothing, at least. Throg, what's up, man? I, you think I need help? I think I need help as well. I I concur. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> what's up, Throg? Good to see you, dude. Hope all is well with you. Good dodge right there. <laughs> Lucky dodge. Loot five. Now this. Yeah, we're <laughs> not giving up on loot five. It, it's. I, I. I think it's a little bit impossible. But I mean, loot six is 
Maybe no. Come on, man. Bullshit. Ugh. Ugh. I wonder if there's a check. Wonder if they added a checkpoint to this level. They added checkpoints to level two, but nothing else so far. Let's see where we start. Looks like back in the beginning. Yep, back in the beginning. All right. Well, that's weird that they added checkpoints on level two, but nowhere else so far. You know what I'm wondering about now, Throg? Is it is there gonna be more loops of this one? Is this one just gonna stop after loop two, or is this gonna loop infinitely? I guess we'll find out when we get there. I'm hoping to just go ahead and finish this one up today. Be the knife. Of course not. Why would it be the knife? I've seen every weapon in this game multiple times now except for the knife. I did I did not want to pick that up. The hitbox on picking that up is way too big. That sucks. Ghosts and Goblins Anonymous help our friend Little Mixer is addicted to Ghosts and Goblins. He is too, isn't he? <laughs> and he's even, look, I'm even wearing a shirt with Ghosts and Goblins on it. How great, how off the deep end have I gotten at this point? Pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. This weapon's terrible, it's so slow. All right, I guess we're gonna go this way, I don't know. We can go up here. See, the woody pig was on the screen, man. We are. N I can't hit this guy. It's throwing like the rock in Friday the 13th. No room to jump, is there? Coffee, if there's one available, I'll get it. Yeah, I could wear some armor and a helmet. Like some breakaway armor or something, I could do that. Don't push me, I'll do it. <laughs> At this point, anything's possible with this series. All right, I'm anticipating them to pop on the screen here. This weapon is terrible because only two can be on the screen. And since it pierces through enemies, you can't get it off the screen. All right, have the knife. This guy's got a knife. Oh, this is a hateful game, isn't it? Oh, you want a knife? Here's another torch. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. All right, we might actually make it to the top this time, so we'll get to see what this fight's like. Yeah, only two on the screen at once. Same with this weapon. Same exact thing. Oh, my God. The ideas for Christmas presents. Oh, my God. That's, that's horrifying. What is this guy gonna even do? He's supposed to... Okay. How am I supposed to predict that on this version? I don't know. Alright, well there's some damage. No way to dodge that. He's gotta be close to death. He's dead, alright. That was pretty easy. I'm used to fighting those guys when they're moving like 20 times faster than that. Yeah, Sonic, what's up, man? <laughs> we didn't we didn't want the torch. It just happened to happen. And now I'm stuck with the damn thing and we can't get rid of it. They gave me the lance back for a second, and then I accidentally picked up the axe, which is even worse than the torch. So I was like, okay, at this point we'll just have to stick with the torch. Alright, will they give the lance back here? Yes. All right, we've been on this level a few times. Welcome in, by the way, Sonic. Hope you're having a great day, man. Hope all is well with you. Unicorn's gonna be here. Cyclops, whatever the hell you wanna call this guy. He's not a unicorn. Unicorns don't look like that. We've established that fact. But yeah, it wasn't supposed to be a torch run, but it kind of turned into one. All right, where's the dragon? We know how this works. Where's the, the shield? We have to get that. Maybe the shield's a better weapon in this game. Doesn't really appear to be. It's about the same. What if we could just leave the dragon behind like in the arcade version? Wouldn't that be nice? Probably not gonna... Okay, that was not a very clean fight. Hey, Raven, what's going on? This is not that bad. This is easier than the NES version. If they don't give me armor here, we are so dead. There's got to be armor on this level somewhere. 
And now we have to die because I got the torch again. That's like the fifth time in a row I've accidentally gotten it. All right, no problem, Insomniosis. I'll catch you later, man. Thank you for hanging, dude, and lurking. Always appreciate it. Okay, well, we've got the torch again. Now I'm just looking for armor. I'm just looking for armor because we have to die anyway. If they don't have that extra suit of armor there that we normally pick up, I don't know how this is going to be doable. Because normally up here in the corner you can get extra armor. We gotta find the armor. If one even exists. Right now it doesn't look like that's like right here. That's where the armor used to be. Maybe it's somewhere else now? We'll look. I'm not very confident about this. Alright, be armor somewhere. How about over here? Nothing. Oh, I have, I have severe fear of this area because of loot 5. There's nothing here. Where's the skeletons? Where's the skeletons, guys? There's supposed to be skeletons here. This is weird. Well, we are going to have to fight this guy. Celestial, how's it going? Welcome in. Good to see you as well. Yeah, I had to drop Tuesday as a streaming day due to work. Oh, great. All right, so it's going to be hard level, obviously. So it's like an Atari version. Yeah, the uh, it, it's a port of the NES version, but it's not a bad port. I think it's pretty decent, honestly. I think it's a big upgrade over the original NES version. Apparently I'm remembering the bad times I had with this game. Yeah, Raven, it, it's not that bad. It's not. The balance is a little different and thing, uh, cer certain things are different, but overall it's not too bad. I think it's pretty well done. I can't lose the armor to this guy. I can't lose the armor to that guy. Yeah, I definitely did do that game, Cel Celestial. It was really good. Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, it's awesome. I loved it. I want to play it again, too. There's more things we can do with that game really don't know how to fight this dragon on this version. It's completely different. He is slower. Well, that didn't help at all. Okay. Uh, is my hair different? Yeah, I got a, sl a small haircut. Not too much. Just trimmed up a little bit. It was getting too hot. I don't sleep very well when my hair is a little bit longer. That That's always been an issue with me. Yeah, my, my streaming schedule now is going to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the time being. I had to drop Tuesday, unfortunately. I missed you as well. It is nice to see you. I missed all you guys because uh, normally I stream Tuesday, but I don't have time to do that right now because of work. Alright, where's the cross? Shield, whatever. Okay, you have to walk further in this version to get it to spawn. I don't really like that. I have no plan to fight this dragon. It's, uh, all right, he's dead, but he's dead. I really appreciate it. I, I thank you so much for that. Like I said, I, I, I was my lofty ambitions for Twitch was to just have people in the chat one day, and we've gone well beyond that, and I am just blown away by it. <laughs> Never expected anything out of my streaming, but. It is, it's really nice having you guys here. I really appreciate you. And Celestial, thank you again for the kind words. Why are they spawning in weird spots? Because they're because that's what they do, right? That's what they always do. I should I should be used to that by now. All right. Are you serious? I tried to duck and hit the damn thing, and it went over the top of it. You know why? Because I was on the ladder. That, that's not where you want to be. Okay, back to it. Uh, level They made level 6 hard again. Who's surprised about that? No, uh, nobody, right? Nobody's surprised about that. Selbeck Streams, welcome in. Yeah, it looks good for Game Boy Color, and it runs at a high frame rate, which is I'm not used to with this, this particular game. What's that going to be? I don't think they even put the knife in this version. 
I think they'd skipped out on putting the... I hate that guy, man. He's, he's so obnoxious. Welcome in, Selbeck. It's good to see you, man. Good to see all you guys, as always. Hope you're having a great day. It sucks not being able to stream on Thursday, um, Tuesday anymore, but maybe that's just going to be temporary. I'll... Oh, I hope people like this level. I feel like we're going to be here for a while. Pull up a chair. You're going to be here for a while. And then we have... Uh... Then we have loop two to do as well. I don't know if, how much harder that's going to be. I don't think you can kill this guy with the shield, but let's see if they... Yeah, they kept that same feature in. That's kind of stupid, but... I uh, shouldn't be surprised at this point. Alright. I wonder if we can just walk past him. Wouldn't that be nice? He's going to get me. Oh, we can walk past him every time. Maybe that's the plan here. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe not. I, I know one thing. I hate this dragon. I need a plan. I need some type of plan here. I got nothing. Drawing a blank here on how to deal with the dragon. Alright, we're going to switch things up a little bit here. We're going to try keeping the shield. We're going to try and run past this guy without fighting him. That's what I've been doing on the other version, so we're going to try it again here. This time, though, the woody pig's going to ruin it, though, right? Yeah. Ruined. Ruined. Oh, my God, almost! And they don't give you extra armor on this level, either, unless it's over here or something. That looks glitchy. I can get inside the walls. Nothing in there. Alright. Need a plan for this dragon. Okay, so what about running over to the right side of the screen there? That, kind of like I did in the other version. I think that was good. But now we have to do the entire top part without armor because they don't give you extra armor here. Or at least they haven't up to the point I've been to. gonna be brutal. Don't want the torch. Why did they even put that torch there? To make it harder? There's no... Or to just be trolly? There's no reason to have that torch there. There's really not. Did not mean to do that. That guy doesn't... In the NES version, you can pull that guy down with the ladder. In this version, you can't do that. There's just very slight differences. The Ghost and Goblins Master? I wish. <laughs> I wish. I, I, we played a lot of Ghost and Goblins on stream, and I feel like I haven't really gotten better at them, unfortunately. Just a hard series, but I mean, it's a fun series. I like it. Despite how frustrating it can be. Nope, this is still on loop one. I'm wondering if loop two is going to be a lot harder. I'm honestly curious. Alright, skipping that guy might be the way to go, because now we can start the dragon fight with the shield. What pattern is he going to take to begin with? That's not good. Oh, I still have no plan for this fight. Let's move back to the right. Let's try that. Let's make, make an effort to do that. The usual strategy of the using doing everything like the NES version isn't working, so i got to come up with some new stuff here. Okay, we're back to relying on luck again. I don't like having to do that. Don't like relying on luck. That didn't work either. Alright, things are not working according to plan right now. Back to the old drawing board, right? Back to the drawing board. This level sucks. It beat the dragon a second ago without taking a hit. It's doable. Totally doable. Alright, I'm hoping the guy will move further to the right so I can do something and just run past him. It's not... I just don't feel this fight's worth it. 
Not doing it. It's just awful. Is that doable without taking a hit? Yeah, th th right now, Celestial, this level's being a huge problem. You can't just hide in the corner there anymore. It doesn't work. Oh, I'm gonna... There's got to be a better way to fight this dragon, man. There's got to be a better way. Hey, Studio Scott, what's up? Yeah, the aspect, man. You can't see much of the screen. That's got me killed a, a bunch so far. There's the... I mean, I didn't want to pick up the lance. That's gonna screw the dragon fight over. We can kill this. Maybe that's what we need to do. I don't know, man. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing here. Everything's a guess right now. Everything's up in the air. Where's the lance? The, I mean, the shield. Hope you're having a good day, Studio Scott. Welcome in, man. Alright, there's a hit there. No dodging there because this pattern changed on me again. There's no set pattern with this dragon. Yeah, screen crunch. Yep, it's a problem. It's a big problem. I have no plan whatsoever for this dragon fight. You know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to try and outrun him because that worked in the arcade version. Maybe that carried over to this version. You're having a good day. Glad to hear it, man. Guessing you're at work today. Thursday and Friday are my work from home days. But I, I'm guessing because uh, lately you've been dropping in while you've been at break from work and stuff. Which loop is this? This is still loop one, unfortunately. It's still loop one. It's a problem. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with it. Let's outrun him. This is gonna follow me. Alright, he's my arch nemesis. Nothing's working right now. <laughs> Trying to find out some type of way to beat him without taking a hit at all, but that's not looking good right now. This level 6, man, is just terrible. And no matter what version you're playing, this level is just pure dread. Alright, if you want to back up there, I'll be happy to take that opportunity to move past. <laughs> Alright. Okay, if you stay in the air there, maybe that's the plan? Nope. Mmm. Still no nothing. Alright, he's dead, but I haven't even made it to the boss yet. Just got off work for the day and tomorrow, so I'm happy. Awesome. Awesome. All, that is like always the highlight of the day, right? That's like... <laughs> there's no greater feeling than getting off work for the day, no matter what. No matter what day it is. They should make Friday part of the weekend, like not as a non-work day. <laughs> That's what they ought to do. That, that ought to be counted as a non-work day. All right, well, how are we gonna do this part? That Woody Pig's gonna screw it over. No, okay, well that's our that's our personal best. Yeah, secret armor is not there, Celestial. It is not there, so we're having to do this without armor. It's a big problem. That's a huge difficulty spike not having the extra armor there. Maybe it's on a different part of the level. Maybe we need to explore the level more. Maybe it is there. Maybe it's somewhere else. If I get hit by the dragon or the, uh, the cyclops here, we'll go look around a little bit. We really need to get it. There's, there's two bosses to fight up here, and I'd rather not have to fight them with no armor. That would be really nice. No choice there. Just no choice. Nothing I can do with that. There's just no armor. At least I haven't found so far. You stay in the air here. He seems to track your position. What if he just doesn't come back? Oh, well. <laughs> I was going to say, that's going to be my new strategy with the dragon. It's Hope he doesn't return. The armor projectiles are fast in this one as well. They're really, really fast. 
He moves slower, his body movements are slower, but his projectile is very quick. And Thursday, and Wednesday, and Tuesday, and maybe three quarters of Monday. Sounds good, Coffee. Let's see. Oh, Woody Pig bad. Bad spawn by Woody Pig. Okay, that's going to be part of it, too, guys. That's going to be part of it. W random Woody Pig spawns is part of, the, is part of it. Man, it, it's nasty. It, it's a nasty level. Can you jump up here? No, I'm going to say, what if there's a way to skip this fight? There's not. What do you know? Well, we can... I'm going to try and... Okay, if he's going to... The pattern on the dragon is just completely different. Kind of worked out okay, though. All right, we're gonna go this way this time and look for armor. I'm. This is a mission to find armor. I'm gonna fight this Aramur here. Maybe there's armor available on that platform he's standing on. All right, he's dead. That's good. Now we can see if there's anything over there. They're a little easier to kill in this version, honestly. They're they're not super. Oh, is that going to be armor? Please be armor. It's armor! Okay, so we have to... Oh, you have to fight an extra armor to get armor in this version. <laughs> Isn't that something, guys? They make you fight... Instead of putting the armor in a safe place over there, they make you fight the armor to get it. So... So, it's good and it's also bad. Okay. So we kind of kind of learn something here. <laughs> okay. I'd still rather skip this guy. I just feel better about skipping this fight. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me, of course. You can't go this way. Oh, you can't touch his head either. I don't know if skipping's the right choice or not, guys. You, you guys' guess is as good as mine on any of this. This is just total learning process here about what to do, where to go, what to fight, what not to fight, what should we be doing, what shouldn't we be doing. It's just a bit of a mess. <laughs> Sometimes this guy just jumps up and down like that and you can just kill him. Okay, so here's the problem with this strategy. Now we have to pick up the shield again. To pick the shield up, you have to move further away from the dragon. So now I'm very vulnerable in the dragon fight. Hey, what's up? Retrofan81, welcome in, man. How are you doing today? Good to see you as well. And Cisco as well, what's up? How are you guys all doing today? Wonderful to see you guys. I'm dead. <laughs> dead again. Oh, dead again. It's not going very well on this level, guys. <laughs> I, I exp I'm, I'm not going to lie here. I thought this was going to be easier, this level. It's not. It's nasty. Yeah, I got, got, got my hair cut a little bit yesterday. I needed to. It was getting a little bit too long. It's not comfortable when it's that long. Cool, it got me anyway. Uh, because why not? Because, whoa! Dead again because of a woody pig. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Hey, Lord Pookums, welcome in, man. Yep, Game Boy Color, Ghosts and Goblins. If it's a Ghosts and Goblins game at this point, we're going to play the damn thing at this point. We're playing it. There's no going back. And J-Dog, what's going on? I have to work and alert. No problem, dude. No problem whatsoever. Good to see you as well, J-Dog. Dude, you're going to beat Mike Tyson. I know you are. <laughs> it's inevitable. That is inevitable. Do the man bun? I don't think that'd be a good fit for me, Cisco. <laughs> I don't think that would look right for me. I've never had that before. Never tried a man bun, but I don't think I will. I don't. I just don't see it as a thing for me. I, don't, I think my girlfriend would actually hate that, so <laughs> I better not. <laughs> yes. All right. Good dodge. Shouldn't get excited yet. He's still alive. Alright, he... Nope. 
got me. Of course it got me. <laughs> hey guys, I was like, watch this. We're gonna kill this dragon this time. Nope, not happening. Not happening. I don't... Th we'll see what this is. What if... No, they don't drop armor. That's not happening. That's silly to think about. All right. See, they're not that bad to kill. That's going to be armor. Here we go, guys. This is going to be our best attempt here. We've never made it this far. With There's a torch. Oh, that was that from earlier. Yeah, that's a problem, Lord Pookums. It's a problem because they spawn and you don't know they're going to be there because we can't see much of the screen. That's a huge issue. Beer Baron, what's going on? Welcome in. Good to see you as well, dude. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Okay, get him dead. We're gonna get this guy dead. No oh, bad spawn on a woody pig, guys. That that screwed me. That's that's terrible. Bad spawn. Now I have to count out the damage on this guy so I don't accidentally hit the armor too early. Oh, we got him. All right. Can't pick that up. What if there was extra armor or something? I'm just like grasping at straws here because we're about to fight the boss. Okay, who's ready to fight the boss? Here we go. Is there going to be two of them again? There's got to be. I can't even see him. You can dart at me anytime you want to now. What am I supposed to do? He's... Damn it, I don't know the patterns. It's different. The pattern's different. If there's loot 5 in this, Lord Pookums, we're going to it. <laughs> we're, I'm guessing it's going to stop after loop 1. That's going to be my guess. Is that there's only I mean loop 2. I'm guessing that's the way it's going to play out. Just taking a guess here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pick the shield up again and hopefully kill the dragon. That's not a guarantee. He is a little bit slower in this version. I'm so nervous about fighting him, though. Okay, you can stay ahead of him. That's really good. All right, improvement has been shown. See, getting better. Now we have an extra armor, too, if we need to go back and get it. But you do have to fight the armor to get it in this one. That's stupid. Ugh. They had to make that harder. This, this level wasn't bad enough, guys. They made this level a little bit harder. Why did, why did they do that? I don't get it. I really don't get that. Alright, now we're going to kill this. Got him. Alright, here we go. Alright, much improvement in that round. Didn't even need the second suit of armor. I could actually go back and get it if I really wanted to. Is there two of them? What if there was just one? Wouldn't that be nice? That was a good clean run on that one. Get the loop 10 on NES and the birds. Uh, we're gonna keep trying, man. I'm never giving up on that. Don't know the patterns here whatsoever. Don't know any type of pattern. And that shot's fast. All right, I'm just gonna fight well, like really defensively. Is that even hitting him? It's not. That is. I saw the explosion. He's gonna get me. He's just waiting for me to jump again. Got him. All right. So there's, there's gonna be the yeah, others too. Why would there not be two? <laughs> Good. Whoa. We're out of range. The, sh the shield's got very limited range here. Got him. Dead. Not too bad. Just needed a clean run to get up there. Alright, no, we're not taking down any passwords. This is, We're going to beat this today, guys. We're beating this today. Both loops. I don't know about any loops beyond that. Thanks for the GG's. Appreciate it. Every loop is a sequel. They all get worse. Not wrong, Beer Baron. Not wrong. Sequels usually do get worse every time, and loops here are no different. 
Alright, let's see if this fight's the same. Well, they didn't have the intro part with the princess running backwards. I was kind of hoping to see that again, because that's kind of funny, but they didn't show it this time. I know I'm doing damage. I can see the, the mark. Alright, piece of cake. Your quest was a dream devised by Hades. What? With his spell broken, pursue and destroy him once and for all. Okay, not only is he not Satan anymore, he's Hades, and we're uh, it's not an illusion devised by Satan. Alright, loop two, guys. There we go. They changed that completely. <laughs> that is completely different. I mean, same premise and stuff, but they changed the words. That's, that's Hades. You know, what, what the hell? It was fine like it was. That's censorship right there. I'm surprised that they let Satan get through originally. Oh, there's no knife in this version, by the way, guys. I don't think the knife exists. At least I've not seen it yet. <laughs> ah, crap. All right. Thanks for the GGs, guys. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can do loop two now, and let's see if the loop three and stuff even exist. I bet there's no loop three in this version. I bet it ends at, at the end of loop two. I bet it does. Or stranger things have happened. Maybe there are multiple loops. We'll see. Hades. Good God. Couldn't just call him Satan again, could we? Come on. Too much censorship. Alright, gotta be careful with these jumps. They're deceiving. Actually, I need a better weapon. We're fighting uh, the, the the unicorn at the end of the level. And I have the shield, and he's immune to the shield. We have to get something better. So you know what the game's going to provide us with? Take a wild guess at what weapon we're going to end up having to get, guys. You will never get it. Oh, that didn't count. Oh, perfect. Of course. <laughs> Just can't keep the same names. Every final boss is the same four to five names, but they trade names. Only possible canon they make since they trade names because they're bored. Yeah, and it was supposed to be Astaroth, Lucifer, Loki, Satan. Who, who the hell are we even fighting here? Who even knows at this point? It's the same, the same devil with 20 different names. A flame, exactly. I can't believe you guys guessed that it would be the flame. I can't believe that. Alright, so let's try and farm it here. We can't even kill the boss unless we switch weapons, so we gotta farm some woody pigs and hope, hope for the best here. Ridiculous, I know, but... Alright, now when I want them to spawn, they don't show up, or they're on the screen, but it's like so zoomed in you can't see anything. Alright. Give me a weapon. Give me a weapon. Need a weapon. Oh, never would have guessed. Perfect. Dude, they didn't even include the knife in this game. That's unreal. The best weapon in Ghost and Goblins, they don't put it in the game. Who needs it? We got the torch, man. We got the torch. What more do you need? What more do you need? Christian characters were out of style. Greek mythology was the new hotness. Apparently so. <laughs> Hades, what the crap? That's got nothing to do with Ghost and Goblins, man. Ugh. 80s. That's insane. Thanks for the GGs. We're, we're moving along. We're moving along. More of these guys on the screen than there could be on the previous version. I know that. Right. Okay. And how, how much harder could Loop 2 be here, guys? Come on. We've done Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection on Legend. That's down the deepest of hell holes you could ever find in the video game world. Nothing will top that. Except maybe loops of Ghosts and Goblins on NES. That's also a strong possibility. But this is a good game on Game Boy. It really is. I would have enjoyed having this game as a kid, honestly. It, it's good. Good job. The torch just screwed me over right there. I'm shocked they didn't include the knife in this game. 
take the best ga weapon in the game and don't include it in Ghost and Goblins. That's unbelievable. But like I said, this is a good game. This is good. Alright, the evil Moogles are causing problems. They normally don't cause problems in the other one. Seems like more spawning on loop two. No knife. I can't believe they did not put the knife in. I'm in shock. What is Ghost and Goblins without the knife? Why didn't they not have the torch? Why didn't they do it that way? Just not have the torch. Keep the knife and not have the torch. They couldn't do that because everyone hates the torch. Oh, look, the bird screwed me over there. And there's no extra suit of armor in this area, guys. There's no extra armor. You have to do this part without the armor. But it's actually a lot easier. It, it's not bad. There's actually extra checkpoints on this level, if you can believe that. That's actually a thing. I, I shot him! Who saw that right there? I shot the guy. He walked right through the flames. What a stupid weapon. Knife does exist, just rare. Well, gosh, how rare could it be? We, This is loop two already, and we've had so many weapon drops and still haven't seen it. That's crazy. But the torch drops like every other enemy. All right, so like I said, though, there's extra checkpoints on this level, believe it or not. They drastically nerfed this level. I wish they would have nerfed this level on the NES version. That would have been wonderful. That would have... I hate this weapon so much. It just jumps over their heads. And oh look, with this weapon you can't kill them through the wall either. What a piece of junk. What a complete piece of junk. I wonder if the armor's over here. No, but look, they did spawn out another torch. I mean, we've got the torch already. Now they're showing it to us again. How bad do they want you to have the torch in this game? They just, they want you to do a torch run. If that had been loot 5 right there, we would have just died because the bird was there. Alright, I'm looking for armor. Looking, no armor there. Alright, so there is a checkpoint here in this version, which is unbelievable. Alright, got the red bird down. That was lucky. There was no rhyme nor reason to killing that guy right there. That guy was in a bad spot as well. That bird's there. I know where the enemies are positioned. It's just hard to see them with this screen size being so zoomed in like this. All right, so we're almost to the boss. There's another checkpoint at the boss too. They made this level so much easier. It's ridiculous. Did not mean to jump forward. I thought I was jumping up. All right, that's fine. I think we're actually going to start right there at the boss. Those are the the only two extra checkpoints they've actually added. Yes, I can't believe that. That's unreal. It would be nice to have the knife for this. Make it a lot easier. Even know if the flame part can even hurt these guys. All right, dead. All right, another level down. Okay, back to level three. Level three is tough. You have to do something different here on this level three. There is multiple paths to take, and if you take the same path as you take in the Nintendo version, the red armors will chase you all the way into the bottom where the boss is. So you have to kill them before you get down there. No knife, right? You're not going to give me the knife. This is basically turned into a torch-only run, guys. Not by design, because the game... I don't want the axe. That's even worse. God, the weapon selection in this is just god-awful, man. Yeah, there, there, thankfully there's been no glitches at all, Pookums. None at all. And I'm thrilled about that. Because the, the NES version of this is a glitchy mess. I'm, I'm talking about that now in uh, 
There's a, I opened a strategy section for difficult games in Discord, and I'm we're having to like learn how to deal with glitches to get past it. I messed around with Loop 5 off stream a bit to just try and discover stuff, and it, you have to put up with glitches and try and work around them. It, it, it's, a, it's insane. Thanks for the GG, Celestial. Appreciate it. Maybe we can do this level better this time. It was a real problem last time, but I kind of know what to expect more this time. Don't like having to use the, the, the flame, but whatever. Alright, the torch actually killed him that time. Okay. There is the extra armor to pick up on this level. It's still there, but we have to go this way this time. There's two armors to fight, and they're really not that hard to kill. There's one already down. There's going to be another one here. I just had the knife, man. He would be dead. Can't let... Can't, can't give you a knife. Alright, we're gonna go back and get the armor because it's in the same spot. It's definitely here. Okay, jump this way. There's the armor. We do have to fight these guys, though. Alright, they're dead. Get the armor. Now we're gonna go back. We have to take this alternate path because I tried the standard path the first time and every Aramur will follow you down this cliff right here and you have to fight them all at the same time. That is not what you want. You do have to fight an extra one down here. The knife is hidden in level 2. What a terrible design. We'll just make do without it then. We'll, we'll make it a hardcore run here. I think that counted as some hits. I really hate this dragon. He's dead already, though. See, we don't need the knife. Who needs it? Torch only run. <laughs> we'll do it hardcore style. Alright, level 4 is not a hard level. We'll probably be through it fairly quickly. Level 5 was a bit tricky, but not the worst thing. Yeah, unfortunately, with the if the knife's on level 6, then we can't use it at all because you have to have the shield to do anything with that level. That would be just like them, though, to put it on that level when you can't even use it. Alright, we have to wait here because there's no nothing else we can do. Because it's happy, fun platforming. This part's honestly kind of pointless. We might be able to make that jump. Not willing to try it, though. I like how they've taken the exact same sprites and models for this game. Not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Maybe it's easier to climb back up from down here. These ledges are a lot slower in this version, I can see that. Now it's glitching out a bit, there's too much on the screen. Now we're getting flashing and stuttering and all kinds of stuff. I'm not dropping any frames today, so it's definitely... Cool. Boy, this part's really boring. Helping Wifey through Diablo 2 Resurrected Nightmare. How far along are y'all? I'm in Nightmare as well on my game. I've beaten Diablo on Nightmare so far and haven't started Act 5 yet, and that's as far as I've gotten as well. Hell difficulty, it's insane though. You have to do so much preparation to be able to do anything in Hell difficulty in that game. Act 5 and she's in 3, okay. Got to kill Mephisto in Act 3 a million times to get some good loot. I've been working on that and had yeah, random luck with that. He's dropped some pretty good stuff. Mmm, you can't make, you can make that jump. That was a good one. That was not a good one. All right. <laughs> Great.
Why is this part in the game again? You need to be fighting monsters, not jumping on eyeballs or whatever, whatever the hell's going on here. I missed the jump again. I'm just getting impatient at this point. I just want to be through it. Ugh. What time is it, by the way? It is 1.30. See, we're going to make it through this. We're definitely going to make it through this, and uh, there'll be a little extra time, so we could probably switch over and do some work on uh, the Loop 5 of the NES version. We could throw that in. That's always a good fallback option to work on when you get extra time to do something on stream since I don't have to go right away. I do have to work today a little bit later, but I am working from home, so that saves me an enormous amount of time. I did coffee. I was sitting at work, unfortunately. And I was thinking about, yeah, it sure was fun when I used to be able to stream today. But yeah, I did miss it. But this will have to be our schedule going forward for the time being, unfortunately. Maybe the we'll be able to stream again on Tuesday eventually. Don't know, but it's up in the air right now. Probably not for a while, but I mean, there's always a possibility they could allow it once again. It depends on like when they let me work from home or not. That's 100% of it. Okay, you can make that jump. This is just not fun platforming right here. It's too slow paced. Miss that jump. It's, just, it's not Mario. If you want a good comparison, it's not exactly that. Do we need to go down there? I think we do. I think this is the last one we need to be on. You have to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, now we fight this guy. Dead. Another torch. Boy, how much do they want you to have the torch in this version? They practically make you do a torch run in this one. Practically make you. At least it has somewhat range in the Super Nintendo Super Ghouls and Ghosts. The torch has like zero range. I mean, so it's a little more manageable in this one. Could be worse. Alright, he's dead. That probably turns me into a frog, so we're not going to get that. Cheese Egg! What's up, dude? Welcome in! Welcome in, Cheese Egg. How's it going, man? Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Quit and stream every day. If that, I wish, Beer Baron. I, I wish. I would like to do that. I would do it if I could get away with it. <laughs> I do have a fun time on stream with you guys. Dragon is dead. See, like I said, who needs the stupid knife? We have a torch. We have the torch. And we're already back to level 5. Ghosts and Goblins Torch Edition. It should be. It might as well be. <laughs> might as well be at this point because there's nothing different. Oh, what am I doing here? Not much. I'm doing good today, man. I'm doing good. It's a work from home day, so that's always much more tolerable than having to actually be there. But, uh, I hope all is well with you as well, dude. Okay, so this isn't the worst level. It's a bit of a trolley level, but it's not the worst. It's not absolutely terrible. What if, nope, I was going to check see if there's armor in that little cubby right there, but I highly doubt there would be being that early in the level anyway. Alright. So, you have random spawns to deal with on this level more so than anything else. The little blue guys are random. The woody pigs are random. So this level is just kind of pure RNG here. There's not much you can control with this level. At least I don't like... I don't like the axe. That is not a good weapon. Slightly worse than the torch. Uh-oh. Wow, surely got away with that, didn't we? Got away with that one. Boy, if this had been loot 5, I would have been punished severely right there. I don't let you get away with anything in loot 5. That was not a very good jump. 
So you can't tell when the platforms are coming because the screen is zoomed in so much. There's a woody pig there that's practically off the screen. That's kind of been a lot of the difficulty with this version is not being able to see what's in front of me. All right, we're gonna... All right, that time that jump count. And there's no extra armor to pick up right there either. So that's out of the question. Oh, of course. Look, he made it up there with the armor. We can't let that happen. Had to screw something up. All right, what if there's armor like over here or something? They moved where the armor was on level six. Maybe they put it somewhere in here? Just, just guessing here. Not in there. Is it over here? I'm gonna get killed if I don't start stop screwing around. We should just go fight the boss, they're not that hard. There's just one on this level anyway. Let's just go up top. Let's just go up top. Nothing else to do with that. All right, can I even reach him with the torch from here? All right, it'd be great if you would charge at me again. All right. I'm so used to fighting these guys on the deep loops. He's so slow. See how much easier when they actually move at a reasonable pace? Egg on a sandwich? Oh my god, that's like one of the greatest things in history. <laughs> egg on a, an egg sandwich. That is like extremely wonderful. And after the stream's over, I may just go fix one. Now I'm going to be thinking about it. I guess we can do it this way. I don't really like doing it this way. I had a Thomas English muffin with Johnsonville sausage egg and some white processed lame delight. Boy, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> that is a big deal right there. <laughs> Such a simple, good breakfast, but you can't beat it, man. That is unbelievably good. Goten, what's up, man? Welcome in, Goten. You guys know this guy. You know him. What's up, dude? Good to see you. This version's easier, Goten. It's definitely easier. It's got some quirky stuff to it that, in some ways, it makes some situations a little harder, but it's, but overall, it's easier. This dragon fight is actually harder. <laughs> it is actually harder. Turkey, egg, and cheese sandwich for breakfast. Can't beat that either. That is wonderful. Turkey, egg, and cheese, chicken, biscuit, Steak biscuit, you name it, it's great. <laughs> Just give me something to eat for breakfast. Twitch gave affiliates a few more one-tier emotes. Oh my god, did they? That's perfect. Or is it perfect? Now we, now we can put a Woody Pig emote in. Maybe we don't want more emote slots. Yeah, that, that's actually a great thing. Alright, so now we'll have to go into the... Si oh, this... I don't like this drag. This dragon fight's horrific right here. It's horrific. And it is loop two. The end is within sight, guys. We're just about to beat this. Definitely an easier version than the first one, even though there's 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 differences, it's definitely easier. An animated one? Oh my god. I guess I'll make an animated red Aramur for my, for my animated one if I got one unlocked. <laughs> That's cool though, man. That's cool. Affiliates actually getting some love. That's hard to believe. <laughs> That's shocking. That's not something you would expect Twitch to do. Let's take care of their affiliates. We normally hate people like us. We're not like Ninja. We don't have we don't have twenty thousand people viewing our channel at once, so they don't care. Is this guy? Don't you dare! Okay, <laughs> don't you do it. We I know we have to kill this guy. There's no way to run past him. This stupid dragon is harder than the Satan bosses. Throg's got five? 
Oh my god, I am really anxious to get into the settings and check it out. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I picked up the torch! Now we have to die. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. I'm gonna aggravate every single one of these guys on purpose and see how many we can get. We have to die now, so I might as well just go nuts with it. There we go. We got four going. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I went and got a haircut yesterday. It was getting too uncomfortable to sleep in. I get way too hot when I... I'm going to die again. We don't need to get hit there. Yeah, I, I got a, a slight trim. I, when I go to bed, I usually get way too hot when I sleep, and having hair that's slightly longer only makes that a hundred times worse, so you got a slight haircut. Yeah, it's much more comfortable. I don't know if we need to be fighting this guy every time or not. It, it's questionable. It's very questionable. And you can't fight the dragon with the lance, unfortunately. I hate that. I can't believe that's a thing, but it is. Oh, you're not gonna follow me this time? Oh, you came from below. Wow. Where is, where is he, man? Right there. Okay. Dead. Okay, good run. Now, let's hope a woody pig doesn't, or picking up the torch doesn't ruin it. Okay, let's dodge this. There's no extra armor over there. You have to find an extra red armor if you want the armor. Which is actually worth it because they're not that hard in this one. Alright, dead. No skeletons on this floor for some reason. Uh-oh. That, that was ominous looking. <laughs> Alright, we're going to shoot this. Dead. Alright, good run. Don't pick this up. Anything but picking that up is now acceptable. Alright, here we go. They're not that bad. But you need to be in range. There's nothing I can do if he's way up there. Alright, there's a couple of hits. They're a little unpredictable here, but they're slow. That is not good positioning. When he charges, I'm going to take a hit. I'm just going to face tank. He's going to die, and we're going to finish the game. Much easier level than the NES version. Even with the like the different changes and stuff, it is much different. All right, we're about to find out if there's a loop three, guys. This is... I still don't like that they didn't include the animation of the princess running backwards right there. I thought that was kind of funny. All right, what's gonna? Here we go. Congratulations, you have restored peace to the kingdom. Thank you. Seems like a. <laughs> That's it. What... Being the wise and courageous knight that you are, your instincts urge you to return to the starting point to face the challenge again. Loop three. Okay, loop three. It's on. Oh my god, we're going to be doing loops in this as well. Strongeth wasn't welling in our body this time, though. How can we do more loops? Dude, they, I can't believe there's going to be a loop 3. I thought they were going to do like the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo version where there's no loop 3 and the game just turns off at that point. Oh wait, no, game over. Too late. No loop 3. No loop 3. Continue. Okay, we're at this again. What? Okay, we're at this again. Alright, let's see what happens when we kill him. This is not what I was expecting. I thought we'd be starting over. 
Your quest was a dream divides by Hades with his spell broken, pursue and destroy him once and for all. All right. Now we'll go to loop three, right? Loop three, okay. So there are more, how many loops is in this one? Let's see if it's harder first off. Let's see if they move faster. Doesn't really look like it. Someone look this up. Someone go find out if, the, if there's uh, there's no zombies at all. There's like, it's even easier. What is this? This is weird. Everything looks to be the same. This doesn't look any different. I detect no ch whoops. I detect no changes so far. I saw no runs on the Game Boy version. It was only the first two runs. Okay. Well, let's explore a little bit into this and see if something is maybe a little bit different. But so far there's nothing different. In fact, that level was actually easier. There's armor here in the arcade version, but apparently not here. <laughs> All right, so I did not count on a loop three for this, but let's let's look at it a little bit. It's quite strange. Nothing different so far. We're gonna need to switch weapons again too. We're gonna need to switch weapons. Because we can't kill the guy at the end of this stage with this weapon. We can't do that. That is not a thing. I am really confused about this. There, there's got to be some type of information out there on the internet about a loop 3 in this game. There's got to be something. They can't just leave us hanging like this about with no information at all. about a weapon? Give me something. We can't kill the boss with this thing. I'm getting impatient. We gotta get... Oh, yeah, I wonder what weapon it's gonna be. Yeah, what... What, Chris, what in the world weapon could we possibly get? I was about to say, we're gonna get one right there. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get past the undead paladins and stuff here. Actually, you know what? We already started beyond them. There's an extra checkpoint here. Oh, info's little because the game's uh, U.S. only. That makes sense as well. How about being the knife? Of course not. The knife. Knife in a Ghost and Goblins game. Good grief. I just noticed there was an extra checkpoint there. All right, let's see if level two's any harder. That was no different. The Master Sword? <laughs> it would be funny if there was an actual melee weapon in this version, Beer Bear, and like there is in the Sega Genesis version, which was actually not a terrible weapon. It's actually somewhat decent, and it wasn't nearly as hard a playthrough as I thought it was going to be. Okay, dead. Stuff's maybe moving a little bit faster. Well, we're going to keep going a little bit and see uh, see if we can detect some differences here. So far, Loop 3 feels pretty much the same as Loop 2. Maybe they'd sped things up by like 5% or something. It's not really noticeable. Wow, okay, maybe it is harder. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing here. There's some partners bitching about the four extra remote slots right now. Of course. Of course. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Affiliates get a tiny bit of love and this is what happens, of course. Why am I not surprised? It's... Who are the people complaining? <laughs> Probably the, the people you would most expect to be, more than likely. I would think that partners would be satisfied with the extra money they make from subs more so than the extra emote slots. That, that's what I would expect from most people that reach partner. 
because then you can actually use like Twitch as part of like your income and stuff. I know there's some people that do do that. I can't believe they've actually done something cool for affiliates though. That's that blows my mind. I, I thought affiliates were like the the forgotten people of Twitch. Alright, well this part's still easy. There's no difference in Loop 3, it feels like, guys. And apparently there's not really a Loop 3. It just makes you believe there's one, but it doesn't appear there actually is. We don't even need the knife. It's not hard enough to really need it. The torch is actually sufficient, believe it or not. Alright, there went the Moogle. Those things do look like Moogles, like a very evil looking Moogle, that's what we'll call them. That's fine, well, there's actually a checkpoint here, believe it or not. There's actually a checkpoint, extra checkpoint on that stage. Honestly, there should have been on the NES version, because this stage is deceptively much harder than most of the other stages, and it's only level two. Yeah, I bet not. I bet not many partners are crying, Beer Baron. I bet very few. I bet very, very few. But there's always going to be a couple of complainers thrown in there that'll try and ruin it for everybody. But I am anxious to look into the settings and see, like, uh, exactly how much new stuff has been unlocked. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Maybe they should, like, scale it up or something based... Oh, crap. Uh. Nice and clean. You just got a shower, didn't you? I'm looking forward to taking a shower and right after... No! No! Come on. What am I doing? What am I doing? Good shot there, good shot there. Give them a reason to complain, kill the firstborns. You would, co you would, Beer Baron. I don't doubt it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I would like to say I'm shocked about people complaining about that, but honestly, knowing the way how the world works today, it honestly doesn't surprise me at all. Partners complaining that affiliates are getting extra emote slots. Good grief. Really. Crap. Alright, well, we'll finish them off here because there's actually an extra. Oh, we start at the boss here. This is too easy. This is super easy right here. It's honestly, super easy. Freaking unicorn, man. Freaking unicorn. Alright, couple more hits. Attacking the wrong way. That's. Definitely not going to get him killed. Almost impossible to avoid taking a hit right there. Oh, double KO. My god, really? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And that's what we love you for, Beer Baron. That's what we lo love you for, absolutely. Ragnar, what's going on? What's up, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. We're on loop three here of Ghost and Goblins on Game Boy. I can't believe we're doing more loops here. But so far, I don't detect a whole lot of difference. I'm not actually sure this is actually a loop three. I think it may just be replaying the game endlessly and not getting harder. These guys do attack with their range attack more than they did in the pre- uh oh Oh, God! Okay, maybe it is harder. He's moving quick. That was a cheap shot, absolutely. <laughs> Dude, I hope everybody's got a lot more uh, emote slots to work with as far as animated and stuff. That's really cool if, they, if everyone's getting that. 
And I was just impressed that they did follower em emotes for affiliates, but uh, we're going to get some animated ones. That's unbelievable. What do you guys want to see from mine? You want to see a Red Aramur or Woody Pig or something like that? I'm, I'm, that would fit the channel. I don't wear... <laughs> that would fit it. Alright, level 3. It's a, maybe it's a slight bit different? Maybe. You're not wrong, Scrutinizer. Affiliates have to work really hard to keep what we've got going here on Twitch. We really do. We work just as hard as partners do, I think. Especially when you stream multiple days a week and stuff. I mean, stre it's streaming, it, it's much to, to me. I thought it, I didn't really know what I was getting into when I first started. I didn't do a ton of research. I just knew to keep my expectations low, but as far as like time investment and stuff, I had no clue about the time investment and stuff that would be required and that you actually 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 have to feel like being online. It's not just like playing a game off stream. It's completely different. I, I didn't understand that at first. A pilot wings emote? No! No chance of that. That game pissed me off, I think, more than most stuff I played on stream. And, and yeah, and you had to pick Big Al, right? You just had to pick Big Al. <laughs> I hated that stage. That's one of my le least favorite video game stages, like, ever. Finally around to get Zelda 1 second quest today. Dude, second quest in Zelda 1's hard. It's hard. The dungeon layout, Studio Scott, are just really, really frustrating to me. I haven't done that one in like 20 something years, but I never like really, really enjoyed the second quest because the, the dungeon layouts were really frustrating. As we do it on stream sometime, I'm not exactly looking forward to that. No pilot wing stuff, absolutely not. Well, there went the armor. <laughs> We gotta do Pilot Wing 64 though. I've heard it's better. Maybe I'll like it more. But yeah, the any SNES Pilot Wings it started getting just the later levels were insane. I'm honestly so shocked we got through them. It's a good game. It just I was I was pretty terrible at it. It was probably my fault. All right, where's that extra armor? They not include it in this version. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, red, blue, bubble deal messes with me. Yes. Me too. And that's like some of the only ways to actually get some points in that. Oh, really? Okay, maybe it is harder. I don't know. I'm trying to guess here. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> And we are missing the squealing of the woody pigs. We're missing that. Really, man? Are you serious? I can't believe we're doing loop 3 in this game, guys. What the hell is wrong with me? I'll just go do something else. Like what? Loop 5 of the other game, right? Yeah. It only gets worse. Honestly, though, the, the loop... Sometimes the hitboxes get you, sometimes they don't. Well, we could bring the woody pigs right back into it and hear the squealing all you guys want, because we're on level 6 of uh, loop 5, and it's just such a glitchy mess. I've been talking about it on Discord, on a, like a strategy uh, channel I opened. If you guys aren't in our J Discord channel, feel free to jump in anytime. I'm going to give the link for it. A Bob Johnson emote. <laughs> Got to think about the emotes. Probably at least have the Red Aramur, since I, we play so much Ghost and Goblins here. Could at least have that. I don't worry too much about copyright. I pretty much everyone on Twitch uses like copyrighted characters, but like nothing happens with it, so... Don't think that's going to be an issue. Oh, 
Oh, what? That's ridiculous. How did that not hit that guy? Yeah, the possibilities for new emotes now is endless. Especially with animated ones on top of that. That's gonna be a process. Oh my god, I hate them so much. And now there's no more armor to pick up. Is he dead? It's not. It's not. How's anyone supposed to suspect false walls in second quest of Zelda? Quest 1 teaches you those are not a thing. I never would have known about them, Beer Baron, if it wasn't for uh, magazines. I never would have known about them. Thankfully, I saw it in a magazine before I ever even played the second quest of Zelda. But if I, if I hadn't, I would have been like, okay, there's nowhere to go in these dungeons. It's over. But yeah, they don't even give a clue of, in the game that false walls are a, a thing with the dungeons. Alright, got the guy dead that time. Much better. Had me going out of my head the first time, though. It takes for a second for you to go through them, too. You don't just walk through. Yeah, you have to push against the wall for, like, at least two seconds before that even works. That's pretty cruel. If you don't know ahead of time, there's... I don't know what you would do. Just not do it, I guess. Kind of like Castlevania 2. Like kneeling for the tornado. It, it's that type of cryptic. I'm sure somebody discovered uh, that type of stuff on their own. Very few... Oh, trolly, trolly, trolly. So incredibly trolly. Alright, let's go get the armor. Now we have a clear shot to the bottom the, the, with the dragon. I think that might have been the most cryptic thing ever invented in a video game was the kneeling for the tornado in Castlevania 2. What were they thinking with that? Seriously. <clears throat> What they could have done is have someone in one of the towns tell you, kneel at edge of cliff with cross, or whatever. That's all they would have had to have done. It would have been so much better. Animated Mega Man emote. I do like the Mega Man series. It is good. It is really good. We got a lot of Mega Man to play. Including pacifist stuff. I can't wait for that. Gotta try more pacifist stuff. <laughs> Dragon didn't even get a chance to move that time. That was cheap as hell. All right, so like I said, not detecting any difference here in Loop 3. It's roughly the same as Loop 1 and 2. I'm, it just doesn't feel any different. I'm guessing maybe that there's it's just not a thing. But we'll do this one extra loop, and then we'll look at Loop 4 just to see. Because right? maybe it... It's slightly getting harder. I don't know. I'm just taking wild guesses here. Breaking floors with holy water used exactly what just it was such a mess. Castlevania 2. And that should have been an all time great. It should have been. It really should have been. And I can't believe the dragon just didn't even move that time. Maybe this game's glitching out as well. Always a possibility. It is. I mean, it is ghost. This port of ghosts and goblins. I mean, I just look at this model of Arthur and I think, yeah, this is going to be glitchy. And the hit detection in this one is a little bit strange as well. Sometimes you just fall through things. All right. So this is the leap of faith. <laughs> You'd only know that if you actually played the NES version, because that's where you jump off right there, but in this version you can't see it. Alright, see those guys are easier in this version, than, but not the not the weakest of enemies, but definitely not like the psychotic mode they are in most of the other games. This part's easier too, these guys are slower. And they hit me anyway. Perfect. Alright, let's see if we can cheese this dragon fight again coming up. Wizard of Oz. Oh my god, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Scrutinizer, have you played Wizard of Oz on Super Nintendo? 
That is a ridiculous game. I owned that one as a kid. <laughs> and it was not a pretty picture to play. You played it, oh boy. <laughs> I got a long way in it as a kid. I couldn't find all the tickets to get into Emerald City, so I never was able to finish it. I thought maybe you needed like a certain amount and it was just like an optional thing, but you actually have to find every single one of them. It's, it's insane. I couldn't do it as a kid. I could go back and try and beat that on stream as well. That'd be fun. <laughs> Oh, now he's moving faster. He did. He felt ill. <laughs> I, I see why. <laughs> Absolutely. That was not a well-designed game. Can't cheese the dragon this time. It's gonna get me this time. Or maybe not. No, oh, he's got me. Crap. There's an extra checkpoint here on the bridge, though. Ugh. So far, loop three, same thing pretty much. When we make it to loop four, I guess that'll be the true test of whether the game actually does get harder or not. Because it, it's if it is, it's so it's happening so slowly you can't really tell. I mean, in the NES version, when you got to loop three, it was very apparent how psychotic it was going to be. But this one has not been that way. I'm just, it's just weird seeing this game run at a high frame rate. Cool, awesome. Knew that was gonna happen. Perfect. It, the dragon's patterns in this one are not fun to deal with. Okay, as soon as I say that, he doesn't even move. <laughs> well, now the game's feeling glitchy again. He didn't even move. What the hell was that? Stay a while and listen. Deckard Kane off. <laughs> That's who we need. Good old Deckard Kane. I can't believe they killed that character off in Diablo 3. I'm still like really mad at Blizzard about that. Alright, here we go into uh, level 5. We'll be on loop 4 very soon, it feels like. The difficulty's not changing much. Uh, Insomniosis, this is actually Loop 3. Welcome back, by the way. Good to see you back. And yeah, we're already into Loop 3. <laughs> loop 2 was not much of a threat at all. And Loop 3 is not providing any real resistance either. So I'm assuming that maybe the game is not going to be continually getting harder like the NES version was. I'm just making that assumption. Definitely way, way easier, yes. Difficulty not really comparable. Except when woody pigs show up like that and knock me through the floor. What was... Uh, how are we supposed to dodge that? Come on. How did I cheat, Beer Baron? It's not my fault the dragon didn't move. That's not my fault. He just stood there and let me just, just cream him. That wasn't my fault if he didn't want to fight. Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. That was a glitchy game. I liked it, but it was glitchy. I'm dead. Woody pigs are getting obnoxious. Okay. I don't think they added an extra checkpoint on that level either. There's it, There are some extra checkpoints, but there's not one on this level. God. I'm just gonna die here. We need to get deeper into this level without armor. I mean, with the armor. That's fine. It's not in. This isn't an easy level. It's just kind of RNG based. Everything's just ra a random spawn. There's not like any rhyme or reason to it here, except for the big guys. I like Daggerfall, even though it was a glitchy game. It was kind of groundbreaking for its time on how much, like, freedom they gave you to do stuff in the game. Jesus. Woody pigs are here. They're making life difficult. And there's another torch. You know, it would be nice just to see the knife once. Just once? Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. Apparently it is.
I haven't decided what we're going to play to tomorrow yet, guys. I, I know Mario Lost Levels is definitely going to be in the next couple of days. i got to just get my Switch working with OBS again. For some reason, it just stopped working. i got to work on the capture card, change a million settings, and get killed by Woody Pig, and start level 5 over. Uh, Insomniosis, I'm not sure. I think we may just do loop 3 here and call it. It doesn't look like it's any different. If it was continually getting harder, I'd be interested to start pushing this version deep as well. But it feels like this is pretty much the same. This might be the end of it. Dagger Falls, an amazing source port. Dagger XL. Oh, that's right. I remember reading about that and always wanted to try that to see the improvements. Because the, the game just, there was like quests in it you couldn't complete. You could get stuck in certain parts. And it just felt like an unfinished game. And I really wanted like to go back and like play a, a complete version of that game. It felt like, felt like the game was released in like a beta state or something. But I, I remember playing that as a kid, as a teenager, and just like being blown away by like how much stuff you could do with it. Oh, do we want this? We do want this, yes. Alright, well, it's not the knife, but it's better than the torch. Even the lance is kind of a rare weapon in this one. Yes, it... it that, insomniosis, I'm going to give you a shout-out anyway, because I know you, you're talking about streaming again, and... So, we're going we're gonna to give you shout-outs. That's what we're going to do. And when you get back to streaming, there you go. Hey, what's up? Coyote, how are you doing today? How's it going? Lurking and working? I hear you. <laughs> what, the work and alert life, right? <laughs> nice to see you. Very nice to see you. I hope everything's going wonderful for you today as well. Thank you for joining Discord, Retro Gamer. I appreciate it. It's pretty quiet there, but I mean, we, we can talk about stuff randomly. And I do monitor it throughout the day while I'm working. I'm not able to watch it, like, all the time, but definitely we can talk about stuff and like that. If you guys want to message me off stream or anything, that would be a great place to do it there, Twitter or whatever. Okay, good dodge. Another good dodge. Actually, just stupidly lucky, like I usually get, but that's okay. That's okay. Apparently, TES 6 is supposed to take us back to High Rock and Hammerfell. Oh, the Elder Scrolls 6. Yes, I would like to see that. I would like to see that. The Elder Scrolls series is excellent. Very, very excellent. And you get kind of get some of the fun of playing, like, those types of games instead of playing, like, with other players. You know, like a, a, like a single-player World of Warcraft-type game. <laughs> oh, you're going to dart lower this time? Is this guy even affected by this weapon? Uh-oh, this might be a problem. I don't think you can hurt this guy with this weapon. I think he's, Im he's immune to the lance. Are you... They, how much do they want me to use the torch? This is crazy, man. Now we have to get something else. Now I have to get the axe or the torch again. That, this is like a stupid weapon simulation game. They won't let you use the weapons you want to use. Now I regret picking the lance up, because I didn't know that guy was immune to it. Wow, that's awful. Building a new engine, I hope there's more impact on the world based on what you do. That, yeah, like absolutely permanent things, like big deal events that, that will change. I know they can do that now, they have the technology for it, and I know in the older games that wasn't really possible, but these days they should be able to do some crazy stuff with a game world like that. Yeah, I, th I, th I think you're just pretty much okay to use anything you want for, like, emotes and stuff. I've never even seen big streamers get in trouble for, like, using Mario characters and stuff like that. I don't think they can, I don't think the Nintendo and companies like that actually care don't think they care, so just pretty much use whatever for, like, emote slots and badges and all that stuff. Okay, not a fan of this weapon, but it'll have to do. 
not a fan. Not a fan about jumping through platforms either that I was actually landing on. Oh my god, no settlement building, please. None of that stuff. Just have a quest with stuff to do. None of that stuff. That settlement building stuff is like a massively multiplayer RPG thing. Leave that out of the single player games. God's sake, man. They had that in one of the World of Warcraft expansions. Uh, I don't even remember what the name of it was. Warlords of Draenor or something. It was really boring and stupid. I didn't like it. It was not fun. Yeah, dumbing down games is, is a thing now, too, unfortunately. I'm just getting killed by random RNG bullcrap all over the map. I can't control what spawns where. You just have to get lucky. Guess we'll have to see if level 6 is any harder. I'm guessing it won't be. Yeah, exactly, Scrutinizer. Why not just let the player discover that type of stuff on their own? Show up at the village and then have it fall under attack or something. Don't, like, encourage you to explore. Don't tell you exactly where to go. That's kind of the point of those games, but they're, like, yeah, the, du the dumbing down is, a, is to blame for that type of stuff. Just in let the player explore everything. Yes, I heard, I heard that game was excellent. Kingdom Come Deliverance, I heard that was great. I haven't had time to actually get into anything like that in a while, but I, I heard that one was fantastic. Oh, boy. That's okay, we'll just roll on with the torch. No big deal. Okay, okay, okay. You want to play that game? You want to keep spawning woody pigs on top of me? Okay, more woody pigs than normal are spawning on this left. Oh my god, it's real! We got the knife! The knife is real! And now we're going to have to lose it right at the start of the next level because we have to get the, the shield. <laughs> so, perfect, right? Actually, it's not that It's good in this one. It's not actually that good. It's fast, but only one can be on the screen, it looks like. So it's not that good of a weapon. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well, we, we got it. We got to see it at least. See, it's not very good. Okay, so we weren't missing out on much. And there's RNG. 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 We're gonna, we're gonna get to loot four, guys. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get to loot four. Uh, Insomniosis, I've been streaming since last June. I think June 27th of uh, 2020 was my first stream. And I was mostly just streaming Team Fortress 2. Because I thought that would be a fun game to stream, and I learned very quickly how terrible that game's community was. But I kept streaming it for a while longer. But I was watching, like, retro channels and stuff when I wasn't streaming. So I started deciding, you know what, I... Oh, there went the knife. <laughs> there went the knife! Well, we saw it for a second. It's not like it was that great or anything, actually. So no, not a big deal. You can actually throw more axes than you can with the knife. The knife got nerfed. The knife got nerfed. Time for Arthur to go nuclear. <laughs> Dude, I was just, th I was thinking, man, that we got the knife, we're gonna breeze through the rest of this level, and what happens? The knife's kind of terrible. That's a first, honestly. I've never seen a terrible knife weapon in Ghost and Goblins. I jumped through the platform again. Uh, well, we could get it again. This is actually level five, Retro Gamer. This is, we're actually on level five still. But it's it, only one on the screen at a time. That defeats the whole purpose. Whatever. Community is in the people you're playing with online or people in the chat. Uh, not people in the chat m most of the time. I did meet some cool people through Team Fortress 2. As far as like people that I actually played with. 
but like just random people on the game servers, that's where the problem was. Because once they find out you're streaming, they're going to stream snipe you. They're going to try and grief you off stream. They're going to do everything they can to make your life miserable. I would finish a stream of Team Fortress 2, get off, get into Discord and on Twitter, and my inbox of messages would be full of racism and filth and hate every single day. I wasn't even mentioning that at the time, but I was just flabbergasted by how hateful people could be. And it was just a game, just killing people in a video game, and they couldn't handle it. Dude, it doesn't work on this guy. It doesn't work on this guy. He's immune to it. Look at that. It doesn't hurt him. Now it's even more worthless. Dude, the knife in this game's terrible. It doesn't do anything. Now we have to die again and get another weapon. Because the knife doesn't do anything. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm in disbelief here. Yeah, he's taking no damage. Okay, let's go get the axe or the torch. Okay. They want you to use the crappy weapons in this one. The torch and the axe are like the only viable weapons. So we found a Ghost and Goblins game where the knife sucks. That's this game. Only one on a screen, only one at a time, and it doesn't affect the boss. That's unreal. I'm shocked. Maybe they're like, hey, the player likes the knife so much, we should just make it where it's no good this time, right? <laughs> yeah, the... I, I just got to a point where I didn't want to stream Team Fortress 2 anymore. I actually had to take a break from streaming for about three or four months where I could only stream like once or twice a week. And during those three or four months, I kind of reevaluated everything. I was like... Hey, if I ever get a chance to stream on a regular schedule again, I'm just going to probably just do retro games and stuff like that. Because that I think that would be a lot more fun. And when I started doing that, everything was a lot better. And now I'm not going back. <laughs> I've, I've found my home here on Twitch permanently. I didn't want to pick the lance up. Good God, the weapons are my biggest enemy right now. We have to get the axe or the torch to kill the boss. This is insane, man. Yeah, the knife in Castlevania... Goten brings up a good point there. The knife in Castlevania is usually the worst weapon. <laughs> but in the Ghost and Goblin series, it's usually the best weapon. Except for this weird game. But that's the anomaly. That's the, that's the exception, not the rule. Hey, Arctic, what's going on, man? Welcome in, Arctic. How are you doing today, man? Good to see you as well. Yeah, knife is not great in Castlevania. It has limited use, but eh, I'd much rather have something like the axe or the holy water or something. Especially in the first games. You can only want the holy water in that. I didn't know how good it was, so I watched Goten stream in Castlevania 1. And he's just like stun locking and annihilating the bosses. I'm like, dude. Really? I've owned this game since I was a kid and never knew how good the holy water was. That's crazy. So you started playing online multiplayer in 2008, ran some assholes for sure, but it's become like 99% assholes. Used to meet some cool people. It's definitely gotten way worse in recent times. It's, it's much, much, much worse than it used to be. I did my first online gaming session in 1996 when I first got on the internet. It was Quake. Quake Deathmatch. And it was an absolute blast. I was like addicted to it instantly. And then Quake Team Fortress came out and all that stuff. And it, it, times were good for a long time. And EverQuest played that for years. That was awesome. But then you started getting into the later 2000s and things started changing for the worse, and they've only gone downhill since. Yeah, I started in 96 with online gaming. It, 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 it's, uh, it's been a long road. But I don't really like much online gaming much anymore. <laughs> kind of done with it for the most part. The axe doesn't affect this guy either. We have to get the torch. I, I'm, I can't believe this. I can't believe this.
The only weapon that hurts the Satan monster is the torch or the cross. It's, it's insane what they've done here. So now we have to try and farm weapons. Why is this a thing? Why is he immune to everything? I don't get it. They give you the axe and then it won't even hurt the boss. The early days of the internet were really fun. It was completely different from how it is now. It was, it was almost like a uh, it was like a niche thing. Very few people even were on the internet whatsoever. And the people that played online games, they were hard to set up. They were hard to even get to work. Having a connection that would do anything... I don't want the knife. It doesn't help us. we got to get the torch back. Okay, there's the torch. Good, now we can actually do stuff. Who thought that would ever be a thing in Ghosts and Goblins? You had to have the torch to do stuff. What in the world were they thinking, man? Basically, when the internet started to become more accessible and the rabble found it. Beer Baron, 100%. 100%. It was just so, it was really, really, really unique back in the day. And I got all my friends on it and stuff back in the day. We all had a great time. Everyone was friendly. Games were peaceful. I mean, there was some toxic people here and there, but the, for the most part, the majority of people were good. They were. They were friendly people. They were fun to play with. Even just completely random people you'd never met before. I made a lot of like friends I still have today from EverQuest and Quake Team Fortress from the uh, starting in '96, going through like 2003. There, I, I'm like Facebook friends with them and everything. I mean, it sounds weird and stuff, but I mean, you really got to know people. It was very unique. It's not like that anymore. Twitch for me has kind of repaired that because now. Okay, that didn't happen last time. I think this guy's harder on this loop. We have the torch now. We can fight him. Yeah, in, in Somniosis, that was a thing, too. A lot of people didn't have decent internet back then at all. Most The best a lot of people could hope for was 56k modems. And that was bare minimum to start playing online games with. Really needed stuff like ISDN line or cable or DSL of something of that time period to really... I am getting so screwed by RNG here. I didn't pick it up! My god! Just kill me. Now we have to farm the torch again. This is absurd, guys. This is absurd. This is abs What they're making me do on this level is absurd. They're giving me weapons that won't hurt the boss. The only weapon that hurts the boss is the torch. That's stupid, man. Still games with mostly nice people in it, like Deep Rock Galactic. Found that the vast majority of players are nice. Yeah, that's a good point, Cheese Egg. There's a lot of games where that do have a good online community. There, there's a lot that still do. It's, it's easy to focus on the bad, because when you run into the bad, it's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really, really bad. I'll have to post a picture on... Uh, in both Twitter and uh, Discord so you guys can see some of the G-rated stuff that I had to put up with every day in Team Fortress 2 and, and this will be the very the, easy, the safe part of it, the safe for work part and even it is kind of psychotic but it will be the G-rated version and I, I'm not going to post what people were sending me in private messages and stuff I, I'm, that kind of filth should not exist in this world but you kill people in an online game and they get mad at you and that's the kind of things they do. That's the kind of things they do. PvP games create an enormous amount of, of anger and hate towards people. And it shouldn't be that way. If someone kills you, respawn and go kill them back. Go get them. Don't sit there and whine and cry about it. And that's what everyone wants to do. Well, not everybody. You guys I know wouldn't do that. But I mean, like, the ma the majority of people that play those kind of games. Web TV. I kind of remember that. I kind of remember that. No, Beer Baron, I didn't. Don't worry. I, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you of all people. 
<laughs> You're not friendly. Don't worry. <laughs> Whoops. And I know we can't. Beer Baron's not a nice guy. That, that's what you want to hear, right? <laughs> that's what you want to hear. We can do that. Yeah, today it's all about competitive matchmaking and all that stuff. And I don't think giving players rankings and things like that is a good idea because that creates even more hatred. I know there should be a competitive ladder. I get that. But most people probably shouldn't be involved with it. There, there's going to be too much anger, too much hate, all that stuff. Online gaming PvP games used to be a blast. They were fun. If someone killed you, big deal. Tell them good shot. Now and then respawn and go kill them. That's that's what you do. You don't log off, rage quit, and then send them a bunch of hate stuff. That's what people do today. It's it's absurd. Coyote here in chat. She play she streams Team Fortress 2. She puts up with incredible amounts of hate and maliciousness. People DDoS the server she plays on while she's streaming. It's unreal how terrible people have gotten these days with that type of stuff. It's, it's, it's practically unthinkable. And, that, and that's what we expect from you, Beer Baron. That's what we expect from you. No. <laughs> and, that, that, and if you stopped doing that, we would start getting concerned. <laughs> You have Elitus on there that screech at you if you don't play the exact same way they do. Exactly. Exactly in Somniosis. And even in a game like Mortal Kombat. I mean, come on. That's one-on-one -on -one fighting. What do people expect these days? If you don't play the way people want you to play, you're going to get hated on. I, I don't get it, man. I could rant about this forever. You guys could, too. You know, you know, You understand. Uh oh, this guy's definitely faster. All right, we're kind of used to this guy being stupidly fast, though, right? <laughs> Whoa, he's definitely faster. That's okay. We can get him. We can get him. How about getting on the screen? Yeah, Coyote has to put up with a stupid amount of stuff. Somnios says, if I die in an online match, I either blame myself or my internet connection. That's 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 how it used to be for everybody, and for some reason that changed. Cheese egg, that's a good point, man. It's a good point. That is a good point. There's always going to be haters out there, no matter what. No, un, which is really sad, but it is the case. Contra Mang, welcome in, man. Yep. Doing more ghosts and goblins. We're on loop three of the Game Boy version. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's tougher. Okay, I'm starting to feel that, yeah, maybe the difficulty is higher here. Welcome in, Contra Mang. How are you doing today, man? Good to see you as always. Uh, this is loop three of the Game Boy version. It's easier than the NES version. It's, it, that doesn't make, it's not an easy game, but it's easier. Definitely easier. Watch the VOD tomorrow. Have a nice time. No problem, Coffee. Thank you so much for hanging out as always. You have a wonderful night. I will definitely see you tomorrow or whenever. I don't know what we're going to play tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Got to do some Mario Lost levels. I'm really looking forward to that. I've, I've actually streamed it before and the stream got screwed up so I didn't get to finish it. So we're probably going to do Mario Lost levels either tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know. I haven't, haven't decided. It'll be something. Retro Gamer, that's the kind of stuff I was putting up with in private messages every day after I got done with streaming. And it was just getting to the point where, I, you know what, I'm just, I'm just done with this. Why, why do I have to put up with this? Just why? This is not the type of online community that I grew up in as a teenager. It's not the type of game I, I, I really want to deal with. And, when Team Fortress 2 is a good game. It's a really, really fun game. It's just it's just the online culture of people that play it. And it's not just that game either. Cool. Random hit from a little blue guy that wasn't even on the screen. I love it. Wonderful. Ridiculous. Uh, 
Uh, why am I playing this on a real game? Uh, I wish I could, Contra Mang. That would be fun to actually stream it from the real console. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> that would be fun. Yo, oh my god! Are you serious? He's waiting for me to jump! He's waiting for me to jump! This guy is stream sniping. He's like, oh, we're just gonna wait for him to jump and then I'll immediately dart at him and ruin it. That's what that feels like, man. That's what that feels like. We'll get him, though. TF2 is a special case as well, so they literally have people that go through the streams and will harass the streamers both in game and out, sending them bots. Yep. That's it, Cheese Egg. That is 100% it. Coyote streams Team Fortress 2 every day and she puts up with DDoSing and all kinds of stuff. Stream sniping, people being extremely racist, sexist, hateful, you name it, it happens. That was never a thing back in the day. Of course, we didn't have Twitch back in the day either. I'm sure there were people that would have been destructive with it as well. It's just unfor It makes you kind of lose faith in humanity when you have people acting like that constantly. You, you, you really do. And that's a bad... Yeah, I hate this torch, man, but we have to use it. It's not the weapon. It's not good against any of these guys, but we have to use it to kill the boss. Torch only against the boss. Yep, that's the way it goes. People will get so mad at you if you kill them in a game. They get extremely angry. I don't understand it. I was playing Warcraft 2 and Starcraft and Starcraft back when you could play those online and stuff. And yeah, I, I got destroyed a lot. I'm going to die so we don't have to pick that up and farm another weapon. Ugh, this level, guys, is driving me crazy. Swatting. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the, the bottom of the barrel stuff. Swatting. That's why, that's why it's not a good idea to let your real name get out on the internet. Like, I wouldn't have a problem telling you guys my real name and stuff, but for there, can, there will always be, like, one person out there that can ru ruin it for everybody. This is, like they say, this is why we can't have nice things. It, it, it's, an, it's insane. It shouldn't have to be that way. And it wasn't always that way. For the most part, at least in the early online games I played, everyone was just, like... Most people are just cool and chill to hang out with. Yes, I've read about that. People um, people committing suicide over that type of stuff. Yeah, it, it happens. It, it's really, really sad. But this is the type of psychotic type culture we live in, unfortunately. I, I, maybe it'll get better one day, I hope. I, I really, 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 really hope. But I, I like as a, when I was 15, 16, just getting on the internet and stuff like that. I couldn't have imagined acting the way these people act today. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Even as a teenager, if someone killed me in a game, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to kill you back now. I'm going to get better. That, that's just kind of what you did. There wasn't any of this hate stuff going ballistic. Just, just, I, I just can't. Believe. No, 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 don't get me. We gotta get up there with the armor. We're almost there. Whoa, really? Well, at least he knocked me through the floor. Okay, let's fight him again. Hey, it happens in Somniosis. This is dark times we live in, dude. Now the guy's glitching out? Okay, now the game's really glitching out. This guy's now a glitchy mess. Okay, how about just dying? That'd be great. And he's dead. Alright, here we go. One more level and we're into loop four. Name is Bruce. Bruce Wayne. True story. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Hey, I got Bruce Wayne right here, Contra Ming. I'm going to talk about Bruce Wayne. Here's the man right here. He heard his name called, and he's not pleased. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there is endless loops, Cheese Egg. We're on loop 5 of Ghosts and Goblins on the NES version. I've got a save state there so we can keep doing it. 
but this one I have no clue. I have no clue. That's kind of it's kind of a learn as we go type here, but may I? It's kind of hard to tell if it's getting harder or not. It, it's very difficult to see what's going on with this. Yeah, me, too, dude. Me too. The the retro community has been incredibly welcoming to me, and it has been great getting to know you guys and stuff. I could not have asked to have fallen into a better place. Okay, that's fine if he wants to hit me. Don't hit me again, though. Okay, now let's go get the uh, armor. We have to fight the armor to get the armor. Yeah, I used to use it IRC as well. That's how we had to coordinate. <laughs> mm, excuse me. That's how we had to coordinate our Quake clan matches back in the day was on IRC. Fun times. I enjoyed it. Discord has kind of obsoleted all that stuff, but yeah, IRC was good. Beer Baron's the darkness that hides in retro. Yes, you are. You absolutely are. <laughs> 100%. That is cranberry juice. Yes, this is uh, diet cranberry ocean spray. It has uh, 10 calories, no fat, tiny bit of sodium, and a lot of vitamin C. So this is usually what I... Um, I drink a lot of this stuff, and I drink this and water about 99% of the time. I don't really do soft drinks anymore. And it, they just gave me the lance. The woody pig, instead of killing me right there, he provided me with a lance, which means we have to die because you can't kill the boss with the lance. Happy fun times, right? <laughs> See the multiplayer, multiverse WB Smash Brothers game like trailer came out today. Looks good and it's free to play. No, let me make a note of that, Contra Mang. So I'll look that up off stream. I don't know what's going on in real life or what kind of games are coming out. I rely on you guys to keep me up to date. That's why you guys are here to help me out. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> I barely know what day it is. I just go to work and I play video games, and and I work out some every day. That's my life. That's my life. Dude, cranberry juice is great, and not bad for you at all. So I don't, I don't, I don't feel guilty drinking it or anything. But soft drinks, yeah, I can't do those anymore. No more soft drinks. So occasionally I do have one when I'm like eating like a big dinner or something, but. Other than that, no, not anymore. No Mountain Dew, no Doritos, none of that kind of crap. I know that's considered like gamer snacks or food or whatever, but not me, man. <laughs> not me. Not me. Yeah, water or juice, man. You got to roll with that. Ocean spray, cranberry, pomegranate. Be also a great choice as well. Yeah, you guys are on the same page with me on that. That's good. Nobody's in here going, yeah, but I like Mountain Dew, Mixer. Screw you. Someone said that. I wouldn't be surprised, though. Superman and Batman, Harley Quinn, Arya from Game of Thrones. Dude, that's going to be... Wow, What? Well, that's a mishmash, isn't it, Contrabang? Holy crap. <laughs> that's a mishmash. That's crazy. Hey, Vic, what's going on? We got Vic the Brick in the house. Welcome in, man. Playing Capcom Arcade Stadium. That's where it broke, isn't it? You were playing that when Ghouls and Ghosts screwed up last night. That sucks. On hard mode, too. This guy's gonna get me, I know he is. That sucks, man. That... Well, it could be worse. At least you weren't on, like, loop 4 or 5 of the NES version and it, and it like, botched up on you. <laughs> Vegetable juice is good, too, man. Can't go wrong with that. I don't drink alcohol or anything like that either. I don't think my girlfriend would let me even if I wanted to, so I mean, <laughs> I kind of have to roll with it. <laughs> oh crap, alright. God, I hate this dragon! What an idiot! I do, no, 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 I definitely do not like coffee. I do not like coffee. I know that's going to be not a good thing to say. A lot of people are going to be like, God, this mixer guy doesn't like coffee. I actually don't. I don't like hot drinks of any type. Hot chocolate, hot tea, 
uh, hot coffee. Not a fan of any of it. I, do, I just don't like hot drinks. I'm like naturally like hot, very hot natured. So I like overheat. I've always had a problem with overheating and stuff like that, and that just makes my problem a hundred times worse. It's hard for me to get cooled off. God, we just annihilated them that time. Why doesn't it happen like that every time, man? I'm kind of jealous that uh, people can drink coffee and, like, get themselves to... Where's this guy coming from? What just happened right there? We just had a red Aramur just visit out of the blue. <laughs> what in the world was that? All right. <laughs> okay, that's where the armor is in this version. Yeah, I've actually heard pe people have... I don't like tomatoes either. I know, I'm, I'm weird. And I don't like tea. And when I bring this stuff up, and I live in the South as well, and all that stuff is like really popular here in the South, and people look at me like I'm like just some kind of like invalid or something. I don't know. They, they don't, they don't want to hear it. And, and actually, some people get offended by it. I'm like, hey man, I just can't, I can't help what I like. <laughs> don't drop a weapon, my God. All right, woody pigs are spawning with more frequency here. This is a dangerous spot. All right, let's see if we can kill this guy. That guy's dead. Kill the skeleton. Kill the woody pig. Kill the armor. God, come on, man. We're going to get through this. Everything was just, like... Collapse right there at the last second. The music really like goofy and stuff here. <laughs> yeah, and this is not a good place to live if you don't like the heat. I live in Alabama, so the hot, the heat, and the humidity is just like murderous here for like eight or nine months out of the year. We don't basically don't have winter here anymore. Winter's like turned into fall. It didn't always used to be that way. It looks like Nickelodeon Brawl, they do better. And real voice acting. Tara Strong will voice Harley Quinn, Kevin Conroy. Whoa! Are you serious, Contramang? That's insane! Wow! Wow! Okay, now I'm really interested in seeing that. Kevin Conroy and Batman. That's as good as it gets right there. Yeah, but, okay, you don't like onions, Cheese Egg, and, and I love onions, so it, it's just like to each their own. I'm never, ever going to criticize what someone likes as far as, like, food and stuff. But growing up here, people have never, like, really accepted my choices. You live in the South and don't like sweet tea? What the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, well, it just it doesn't taste good. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> it tastes awful. Like, drinking, like... Water with sugar dumped in it. It's, it's god awful. Please die. Okay, we can try and get the armor back over here. Just getting past that dragon's a problem. Beat the crap out of this thing. Alright. Now the armor spawns over here. You have to kill the armor to get the armor in this one. How about that? How about that? Don't like coconut meat. Don't like celery. I, I completely understand that as well, Goten. I'm not big on either one of those. Coconut's like super awkward. Oh, there's Mike. What's up, Mike? Welcome in. I hate everyone. Yeah, Beer Baron was listening. I hate everyone. <laughs> yeah, how dare I not like everything that everyone else likes. Right, Artic? Right. People down here don't get that, though. They just don't. Welcome in, Mike. How are you doing today, man? This is a weird version of Ghost and Goblins. It's some things are easier, some things are different, some things are a little harder, and it's just a slightly different game, but it's easier than the NES version. We'll give it that. There's some extra checkpoints and things like that as well. And that woody pig spawn right there has ruined that spot many, 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 many times. Yeah, celery is uh, celery's kind of strange. It, it's it's kind of strange. It, 
I like celery when it's a little bit soft, but when it's kind of hard, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's going to end badly. I'm dead. <laughs> and yes, Mike, I really do like grits. That's one southern thing that's popular down here that I really do like. I really, really, really like slow-cooked grits. They're great. Grits and eggs with soft with turkey sausage and a little toast or something makes and some fruit makes for a really 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 wonderful breakfast. And I absolutely cannot get enough of grits. They're not for everybody though. They're, the consistency for them is a little bit strange for people that aren't used to them. But I grew up eating them, so I really didn't ever know any difference. Dude, I agree, Goten. I love fish. Ah. It's, it's level six. What do you expect? It's going to be a hard level. But this is loop three, by the way. If that tells you guys that, yeah, this is definitely easier than the NES version. We're already in loop three in two and three hours of play. So, And loop three is not psychotic like it was in the NES version. I don't even know if it's really that much different at all. I can't tell. I've never tried anchovies, and I've only had caviar once. Never actually had anchovies. Caviar, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest thing ever. <laughs> but it wasn't the worst thing ever, but I, I've never had anchovies, though. I'm, so I'm not going to knock it. I know... God! There's no pattern with this dragon, man. There's no pattern. It's just he's just gonna kill me. He's just gonna kick my ass every time until I get lucky and kill him. And then I'm gonna die further into the level. And then we have to fight him again and get lucky once again. Fish as a whole, though, I, I, I eat a ton of fish personally. I like cod. I like catfish. I like grouper. I mean, there's all kinds that are just really good. You can't see much of the screen, guys. It's <laughs> to get the chat talking more than food, dude. Exactly. You can talk about food all day long. Lapia sea bass red snapper, also awesome. Swordfish steaks, awesome. Sushi, nigiri, sashimi, all great as well. I, I'm a huge fan of fish, and it's really good to eat fish. Definitely choose fish over red meat when you get a chance to do so. Take that opportunity. Even though I love red meat, I do. It's not the healthiest thing to eat, though, but boy, it's good. <laughs> it's okay to eat it sometimes. Moderation, that's the key to everything, right? Dodge. Okay. Good shot. Uh-oh. Oh, I got you that time. I got you. Attic, tilapia, flounder. Yes, also wonderful choices as well, Pookums. Wonderful choices. All this talk of food, man. I am starving now. I'm going to fix me something huge after... Oh, are you serious? There was a woody pig on the screen. There was a woody pig still on the screen. Ugh. God, level 6 is just terrible no matter what port of this game you're playing. I just don't like fighting this guy. I just don't like it. Oh, that was lucky. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, we got him again. Dude, that sounds... Yes, cheese egg. Oh, lamb chops is awesome. Absolutely awesome. That sounds incredibly wonderful. God, I am so starving now. Thanks, guys, for bringing up all these wonderful food selections. Now I'm just going to sit here and starve. <laughs> i got to go pretty soon anyway, but I'm going to definitely fix something big and tasty after the stream's over, which we're probably going to call it after we finish this level. This would be a good stopping point. All right, now I'm going to drop down and hope the woody pig isn't there. Okay. All types of chicken's great too. I'm a huge fan of chicken as well. M most of the time baked and grilled, not that much fried. Fried is not good for you. It's good, it's tasty, it's wonderful, but it's not wonderful for you. Can't do a whole lot of KFC and that type of stuff, but it is good. Popeye's chicken, you name it, all that stuff's good. 
all the best foods are worse for you always. Except for fish, though. I, I find most fish taste really good and they're good for you. That's a that's an, an anomaly, but thankfully it works out that way. And dessert. Always skip dessert. If you get the opportunity to skip dessert, skip it. You don't need it. But no, I'm not going to tell you guys how to eat. You, you guys know, but... Personally, I don't, I don't eat dessert. I just don't. Alright, so I can't do anything until he gets lower. Okay, once again, I can't do anything until he gets lower. I can't... Oh, too low that time. Okay, you want to play that game. You want to play that game. Get wrecked then. Here we go. One more. He's still too high up. Alright. Think when no! Damn it! Oh, this level. They always remember. They do, don't they? <laughs> There's no way to tell when he's going to charge. The NES version, their charges are a little actually more consistent than there. There, that looks like pure RNG, unless I'm just missing something. God. Grilled salmon, I think, is the fish dinner I eat more so than anything else. Grilled salmon on rice with broccoli and... Oh, I'm going to die here? No. Grilled salmon on rice with broccoli is like the most common dinner I get when like I eat out and that's available. That is so good. A lot of people don't like broccoli and I understand that, but I've, that's kind of what I've grown up on. Cooking salmon and jasmine rice tonight with bro <laughs> cheese egg. You read my mind. You've added carrots, <laughs> which is also great. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, definitely try more fish in somniosis. It's just good. I found like no fish I haven't liked. Caviar was kind of awkward, but I mean that's that's kind of that's fish eggs more so than actually fish. This guy, this guy's just getting trolly now. This guy's just getting trolly. Love Popeyes, but if it's handling a line super slow to get food around here, delicious, but slower than Arthur trying to climb ladders. Dude, is that slow or what? Popeyes is good, though. It's good chicken. I, I detect no pattern on this dragon. I'm just trying to react to what he's doing. Not the reaction we needed right there. That was stupid. Fresh tuna and salmon. You, that's all excellent as well. Baked salmon or grilled salmon. Sign me up for either one. Both are outstanding. Fried fish is good too, but once, once you start trending into like fried, it's not so healthy anymore. But still, fried fish is better for you than like fried... Uh, chicken, I would believe. Usually you're going to have less less batter on fish than you will on chicken. Like KFC and stuff like that, they go extra heavy on the batter and like all that extra crispy and all that stuff, which is good. It tastes good. Definitely horrendous for you. Yeah, all green veggies, I can't think of any I really don't like. I'm not super big on turnip greens. My parents love those. They're like, what's wrong with you? You don't like them. I'm like, well, I'm just not big on the flavor. But it, it is what it is with that type of stuff. This guy is such a troll, man. You think you have an opening here? And nope. Lines last two to four hours. Good God. Two to four hours to, for a line? At a Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I, I can understand that. <laughs> the the Chick-fil-A's around here, the lines are extremely long as well. If you want to eat on a reasonable schedule, you don't eat at Chick-fil-A. You'll be in line for two hours. Not worth it. I'll just grill me up some chicken at home or something. How about dying? I hit every part of the... Okay, now we can get the armor back. This is a difficult level. Onions are wonderful. I love onions on a pizza. 
This game goes for $82. It must be somewhat rare now, then, Contra Mang. It must be somewhat rare. It's a good Ghost and Goblins game. It's even got passwords, so if you want to turn it off and pick it back up later, it's got passwords. But what the plan here is we're going to beat level, Loop 3 here, and then we're going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I should have waited. That was my fault. We're going to beat Loop 3 here, and then we're going to see what the difficulty of Loop 4 is, and we're going to call it there, and that's going to be today's stream. And tomorrow, we, I haven't decided yet. Got a lot of options. Good stuff to pick from. I know it's not going to be Lion King. I can tell you guys that much. That's not what we're going to be playing tomorrow. I'm still infuriated with that game just watching Goten play it. <laughs> what do you guys think about onions on a pizza? I've always been big on that. A lot of people around here do not like that idea. Damn it. Sick of this guy, man. Ruining it. All right, let's back into it. We're going to finish this. It's 3 o'clock. There's plenty of time to finish this and check out Loop 4 a little bit. Controls are better. The frame rate's better. There's, there's a lot going for this game. I would have liked this game as a kid, especially with the password feature. That would have been like... I don't know. My parents probably wouldn't have been big on this game because I would have been like raging in the car at it. The unicorn got me again! I don't like woody pigs! My dad would have been like, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> My parents liked the Game Boy a lot because it kept me quiet in the car on trips. But I don't know if they would have put up with this one too well because it, it, it's kind of ragey and difficult. Okay, he's dead. Now we can save the armor in case we need it later. You guys like... Okay, Retro Gamer likes onions on pizza. Fried onions are wonderful. Yes. I love fried onions as well. Put fried onions on a cheeseburger, man. That's, that's heavenly. That is heavenly. Can't eat cheeseburgers too often, though. Can't do that. Pineapple on pizza? I like that too, man. I like that too. A lot of... You, you, get run out of the store if you will try and order that here in Alabama, but I like it. My dad likes it, too. Every time we've, we've ordered that before, people, like, stare at us like we're just, like, like an alien or something. Don't be a weapon. Are you serious? Come on. You can't just sit there. Oh, you're not going to sit there. You're going to kill me. I get it. I get it. You know my pain, Vic? Yep. <laughs> Ugh. If food preparation's a big deal, too, you can get a burger at two different places, and it's completely different. You need a place with good management with people that actually care, and th these times, that's very, very, very rare. That's rare. Please move over. Okay. Well, I'll just take the hit and we can kill the dragon and get the armor back. Asparagus is good. I like that. That's a good one. RNG, man. It's RNG. It's 100% RNG. I can't control that. I have no control. No control. The only vegetable I, I just really not a fan of eating is turnip greens. I don't know if you guys have had those or not. They're real popular here in the South, but I'm, I'm just not a fan. They're kind of bitter and kind of stout. Makes they have a really strong odor as well. I mean, it's not for me. Just give me some broccoli. You like turnip greens. Okay, that makes sense. My parents love them. I'll just take some broccoli or green beans or lima beans. Oh, the dragon shot me that time. That's different. That's not supposed to be happening. That's stupid, man. The dragon shot me. That's the first time that's actually happened. Hey, Prismatic. Prismatic Rhythm, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it very much. Welcome on in. We're doing some Ghost and Goblins. How are you doing today and what were you playing? Can't eat pigs in a blanket anymore. I don't think I can either at this point, simply because of this game. 
<laughs> That's my reason. <laughs> oh, you came down with a flu after eating them. Yep, that, I've been there with tartar sauce before. I've been there with tartar sauce. I had like ate something shrimp with tartar sauce and then I got an upset stomach and that kind of ruined tartar sauce for me. Where was I supposed to go there? Guys, this is a tough level. I'm saying it's a little bit harder because it's loop 3. I was playing 2006 version of Crisis. What kind of game is that? Is that, that a good one? I'm assuming it is since you were streaming it. That's a dumb question. But uh, welcome in. I'm a bit of a weird dude. Uh, I like games past 1999, I'm not too familiar with like 99.9% .9 of them. I rely on my chat here to tell me what's going on. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is getting trolly, man. I'm just getting my ass beat. I am just getting my ass whooped here. Spicy food's good too, Cheese Egg. I like spicy food. And once again, that's something that's not super popular here in my area, which is Alabama. It's just not popular. You're supposed to pretty much just eat unhealthy stuff and thing and drink sweet tea with it. That's what you're supposed to do here in the South. You're supposed to eat burgers, fried chicken, and drink sweet tea with it. Never question any of that. <laughs> if you question it, something's apparently wrong with you. You like bad games and uh, weird games? Me too, man. Me too. I've got bad games in my redemption list down there for channel points. <laughs> so I'm anticipating people are going to pull the trigger on them eventually. Kind of dreading it, but it's going to be it's going to be part of the fun. I'll have to look up Crisis. I've never heard of that before. There's a lot of modern games I'd probably like. I just have to convince myself to try them. This guy's gonna hit me. That oh, the, uh, the other one saw me from through the floor. What in the world? What in the world? What in the world? What in the world? Indeed, bad things. Bad things, man. <laughs> Oh, spicy pickled okra popular there at least. Uh, okra, fried okra is very popular here, cheese egg. Everyone like, for the most part here, likes fried okra. I love it as well. But it's much better for you to eat it boiled. And then when you eat it boiled, a lot of people don't like you. <laughs> That's crossing into territory that most people down here think you shouldn't be eating it that way. But it, it, I still like it and it's good for you, so... That's the preferred way to eat okra here, but yeah, pickled uh, fried okra would definitely be a thing. Spicy food's good. I, I, I'm definitely a fan there. Boiled peanuts? That's another thing. <laughs> I'm not a fan of for peanuts. <laughs> I know. I know, that's weird. I'm not a fan of peanuts of, of any type. They, they're too salty. We need too much to drink. Yeah, I wish I could insomniosis, but da living down here, people are extremely judgmental about it. <laughs> A lot of times, I'll just like make up that I'm allergic to something to get out of having to eat it or drink it or something. And I'm not a picky person. It's just people being too, way too judgmental. I don't care what people eat, but people down here do care what you eat. They, they care. <laughs> They definitely care. Remember beating Crisis on lowest settings when originally came out and had a decent machine. The game on lowest settings looked horrible. The opposite on highest settings. Oh, one of those types of games. Okay. And the run just got ruined because I accidentally picked up a torch. This is just not going very well. Uh, we're going to do it, guys. We're going to do it. It's in. It's inevitable. It is inevitable. Victory is within our grasp. It really is. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's going to happen. One of these runs is just going to click. Yeah, oh, peanuts are just too salty for me. And I, I like salty meats and stuff like that, but not just not peanuts. Just not a fan. Just hit me, man. If you want... You can actually skip that guy on loop 5, where we are on... Uh, the NES version. I can actually skip that guy. 
would the torch be better against a dragon? It might actually be. Maybe not. I don't know. Who, who the hell knows? Who knows at this point? The armor function on the OG were cool too, but it was mostly about pushing CG. It wasn't incredible. Well, the aliens appeared. I'll have to loot. I'll have to learn about that game. I'll have to learn about it. If it's a game that came out after 99, I usually have no clue what it is. <laughs> usually no idea. Alright, that guy ran away from the torch that time. The hell was that? That wasn't supposed to happen. I wish I could do that in Somniosis. I really do. I, I've gotten in trouble doing that living here before. When you live in the south and grow up in the south, you, you have to be very, very careful here. People are vengeful and judgmental a lot of times, even though you, you hear about, like, southern hospitality a lot. Eh, that, that's kind of questionable. Take it from me, I've, I've lived here. <laughs> Crab and lobster, you're allergic to crustacean. That sucks. Because that, that's good stuff. But hey, if you're allergic to it, you can't help that. I'm allergic to sweet tea. Actually, no, I'm not, but I made that up so my friend could fix something else to drink and it actually worked. And then, like a couple of years later, I told him I made that up. He was like, You son of a bitch. <laughs> but I got him and it worked. Alright, no woody pigs here, please. retro idea is currently playing Eternal Ring, which is right on the cusp of your 99. I've not heard of that either. <laughs> not heard of that one either. What system was that on? Probably like PlayStation 1 or something. Like my area of expertise with video games is like old Nintendo, Atari 2600, uh, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Neo Geo, that, and Turbo Graphics. That's the type of stuff I'm most familiar with. But you take me out of out of those waters, and I'm just gonna drown. <laughs> I know a couple of games here and there, like Diablo, Diablo 2, the Warcraft series, but for the mo launch of PS2, okay, that's why I missed that. And I did some Nintendo 64 and stuff back in the day as well. All right, I'm not letting this guy win again. Nope. See, now we're gonna take care of the other guy, and we're gonna go home happy. Maybe. All right, come on. Come on, I know you want to do something. Too high still. Now he's too low. He's going to... As soon as I jump, he's going to charge. That's a hit. That count? Yes! That counted! Look at me cheese it like that. That was cheesy. He was staying off the screen, so I just took advantage of it. All right, here we go to loot four. Loot 4 is on the way. As soon as we put this guy to sleep, which will take a couple of seconds. Hardest last boss ever, right? Dead, alright. And there's the ending again. Congratulations, you've restored peace to the kingdom. Thank you. And we feel strong as welling in our body. No, not on this one. Alright, here we go. Being the wise and courageous, I'm going to read it how it used to be. Night that you are, you feel strong as welling in your body. We're not returning to starting point to challenge again. All right, let's see if loot four is any harder, guys. I'm genuinely curious at this point if it's going to keep getting harder. It was an act FPS action RPG. Okay, that sounds kind of fun. That sounds kind of fun. I like first-person shooters, but only the old school ones, like Doom, Heretic, Quake, Hexen, that type. I don't like, I'm not a fan of modern FPS games at all. Give me the old ones and that's all I need. I did do Team Fortress 2, I know. But uh, that, that's just because it was a continuation of the original one I played as a teenager. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Appreciate it. Let's kill, okay, for some reason when you hit continue, it makes you fight him again. Let's see, and after we kill him, we'll go to loot 4. And see if it's any harder. And I'll probably just save state it there so we can, if it is harder, we can pick up on it later. But I definitely got to get back to work for today. Your quest was a dream devised by Hades. Good God. With the spell broken, pursue and destroy him once and for all. All right, this is loot four now. This is loot four. Let's see what it's like. Loot four.
Online PvP is awful these days. Oh, it's no different, guys. Look. It's just gonna loop endlessly, but it's not really getting harder. These guys are really slow. Let's make it to the Aramur and check that, and then we'll probably call it here. But this is not getting harder at this point. This is probably just gonna keep looping and not getting harder. Unlike the NES version, which actually does keep getting harder. I'll loop five of that. Good old loop five. All right. It's like even easier. There's less zombies than there was the first time. The bird's not that much different. That guy's not much different. All right. I think this would be a good time to call it, guys. I think we've gotten squeeze as much content out of this game as we can. You know what? I'll honestly do a uh, torch-only run, but I think we've already kind of done that with this game as much as the game has forced us to stick with the torch. All right, dead here. All right, guys, let's let's call it here. This was a good run. This is a good this is a good Ghost and Goblins game. It's better than the NES version as far as balance and difficulty. It's a little bit easier. Uh, it runs at a higher frame rate, but it's got some weird stuff in it, like being forced to use the torch, the knife not being good, and not being able to see much on the screen. So. I mean, I liked it. It was fun. It was definitely worth a playthrough just to check it out and see what it's all about. But I, I have no, like, real complaints about it or anything. I think this is more along the lines of what the NES version should have been like from the beginning. Alright, let's see if the Cyclops moves any faster. I bet he doesn't. We're not getting, like, any anything extra. Nah, he's easy. He's pretty much the same. That's fine. All right. Let's head out, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Let's drop a raid real quick and call it a day. Let's do that. Thank you once again, guys. Very, very fun stream. Thank you for hanging. Good times. Good, chill, fun times. Let's raid Tsunati today. I haven't raided her in a while. She's playing Ninja Turtles. The original Ninja Ninja Turtles on NES, you know, the really infamous one. So let's uh let's pop over to her stream. She's awesome if you don't know Sunati. Yeah, I will be seeing you guys uh, around Twitch, Twitter, your streams, wherever. I'll be working, so I'll probably have to lurk a bunch, but I will be seeing you guys again rest of the day, tomorrow, whenever. Let's get our quick raid going here and be off for the day. Thank you so much once again, guys, for hanging out. Good, good times. All right. Sending you guys over to Sunati, and we'll see you guys around. So once again, thank you very much for hanging out. See you later.